Evening. We are live. Evening, Evening everybody. Evening. Evening. Evening, everyone. How are we doing? Everybody all right? Yeah, we're all good. All good at the moment. Things are ticking good, over, good. aren't they? Yeah. So, yeah, welcome back, everybody. Um, if there's anybody who hasn't been before, then I don't know what you're in for tonight, because the last time there was just three of us here, it ended up... Um, Steve was dancing with ironing boards and there was a bit of carnage there. So tonight, um, Paul's not with us tonight. Paul is away on his holidays, so he's not here tonight. So it's just the three of us. So if you're a diehard Paul fan, I apologise. Um, we will miss him tonight, so hopefully he's having a good time and he will be back. Now, I don't think he's back next week. It'll be the week after that he's back. So he's away for two weeks. So um, hopefully Paul's having a good time on holiday and we'll get him back soon. I think we've got so, a special guest, haven't we, next week? We've got a special we guest. We do, yeah. Back to four. Uh, yeah. Um, no, it won't be four. It'll be just the three of us next week, I think, because Steve, you're working next week. Yeah, I'm working. Right? I'm working oh, for a few weeks. Yeah. Yeah. That's Thank it, you. mate. Yeah. That's the, Congratulations that's the, uh, on the new job, though. Congratulations, mate. Well done. I know. I appreciate it. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's so, the yeah. only problem with it. You know, like because it's nights and it's four on four off, so it's like it's crazy. You know, it always falls into it can fall into Fridays, so. But then mm -hmm. you know you'll miss a few Fridays, but then you'll also know that you'll be there for four Fridays. So it's swings and roundabouts. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, yeah, but yeah. Like I said, it's a, it's a job, and it keeps the uh, like I said, Jay, it keeps the coral in the tank. Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> mate, this is the dearest hobby in the world. I think so. You need money yeah. in your pocket, don't you? And that's what well, it's right. when you're steaming, you can't stop buying things. That's the problem. Yeah. Hey, hey, I've not bought anything for a long time, mate. What? It's got to be like no way. Three weeks or so, yeah, three weeks, four weeks or so. Or so. I, I don't really want to mention it this early in the stream, mate, but you did buy the new Reef Keeper, so, or KH no, Keeper. Well, say. well, well, uh, theoretically, theoretically, it's not, I didn't really actually buy it, did I? Because they actually had a KH <laughs> Keeper. All I'm doing was upgrading the program to the newer model, that's how it is, yeah. which, by, which by, yeah, by the way, I've still not even received and it's now going into its fifth week. So come on, KH, mm. keep a reef battery, get your asses in shape, you know what I'm saying? Still waiting for this. Took mine down, so you know what I mean? You pay it, you pay it, and they don't deliver, and it takes five weeks. But other people have got it out, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't understand yeah. how they've got it, but... You know what? Wait, every, everybody really else is waiting for this as well. We're waiting for the review on YouTube. We can't wait for an <laughs> honest, detailed review of the KH Keeper Plus. Mate, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a, a very, I'm gonna do an in-depth, but not only in-depth, I'm gonna do I'm gonna it's it's gonna take me ages to do it. Yeah, it's gonna be I'm gonna really do, do a quality one on this one, that's for sure. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. stay tuned hopefully, for that. Hopefully the plus means it works. So it's a reef keeper plus it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's it. That yeah, that's what it says on the tin, mate. But, that's what you know, it is. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we. You know what I mean? But, crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. Absolutely. Good investment, hopefully, because keeping hopefully. your KH stable is one of the most important things, obviously, for your corals, isn't it? Absolutely, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, lads. My internet is uh, playing up tonight for some reason, so I dropped out there. I don't know what's going on, but. I think um, what's happened is I've actually borrowed Paul's Wi-Fi tonight, so it's no looking good. <laughs> yeah. Are well, you back in? Uh, good yeah. evening, everybody. There's loads of people in the chat, so good evening to everybody in the chat. Yeah, good yeah, evening, everybody. I hope you're having a good week and look forward to the weekend as well. Yeah, that's a question here from Albion Warrior. You could be the, uh, you could be the brand ambassador, Mogza. I think he's assuming I'm going to be the brand ambassador for the cage keeper. Um, yeah, I think, <laughs> I think I might pass on that one, mate. <laughs> They don't want. They don't want. My, they don't want my uh, me, me to be saying a few things about them. That's for sure. Not at this moment in time. But you know what? Things can change. So we we will see. I reckon um, they're scared. Only time will tell. Don't they? You know what I mean? But like, I, I know I we'll keep going on about it and stuff like that, and it's like thing. But you know, <laughs> my, mine was just like out by not like point one or point two or point three, which I can handle. You know what I mean? Yeah. But when it's out by like one. One D DKH or three DKH, that's a bit of a difference, do you know what I mean? So, but yeah, what's your out running at at the moment, Steve? I might, you know what? I've tested on the Hannah Checker now, um, yeah, that's yeah. the one that I'm running in all the time because obviously they've took it down, um, mm -hmm. and I'm testing it twice a week now, so you know, just to make just to make sure, yeah, um, and it's running at about 9.1, 9.3, so that's perfect now, the way because nice. I've reduced it. From ten, then you know, ten point five. I had it high, and then somebody said, "You know what? You might be, you might be like damaging your SPS more 
running at ISO, I was like, well, you know what, I'll, I'll lower it. And I've definitely mm. seen a lot more colour on the SPS. Not much growth, yeah. not much growth, but um, definitely uh, colour. It's colouring up a lot more, you know what I mean? So I yeah. suppose I suppose that uh, staying is where your DKH is high, it, you get more growth. And when it's mm. low, you get better colour. So I think, that is, I think that is definitely the case, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But... Um, yeah, so far so good, mate. It's about nine point two, nine point three. So, yeah, I'm happy at that. I think that's the same with mine, Steve. I've, mine runs at nine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. DKH and the colour of the corals is really good. Like the rainbow coral, the torches looks absolutely awesome. But just because yeah. you what you said there, the growth on my tank is really slow. Yeah. Like, I thought it'd be so much faster than what it is, and it's yeah. like I don't know. It's just it's just a lot it of the corals are not moving. It definitely is, especially like SPS, yeah. When I took mm. it down from like 10.5 and it got to a point where it went to 11 DKH, yeah. yeah. And the, and the, um, the millipora and the SPS at the back were growing like weeds, mate. You could, I was fragging them all the time, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, and now I've lowered it down, you could definitely see that they're not growing as quick 100%. Um, but they've coloured up more, so they've gone a lot more brighter, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I think you, tra I think you trade it off. You know what I mean? You've got to trade it off. Do you want brightness and colour? Mm. Or do you want, or do you, you know, and then in the long term, it's going to grow nice and colourful. Yeah. Or do you want quick yeah. growth with a duller colour? So for me, I'm going to go with a, uh, well, I am, I'm liking the, the, the better colour mm. and the slower growth. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. that's the way I'm going to stick to. I think for me, I'm yeah. probably for Ross as well, just with a nano tank. You don't want it to grow too quickly because obviously you're going to outgrow your tank within a, Within six mm -hmm. months, that is so the slower growth, but the coloration is, is that's ideal. definitely, yeah, that's definitely, yeah. Um, it's, yeah. it's the color that makes it look special. Your tank, as well, every time you walk in the room, you just see the colors, it is stunning, isn't it? Absolutely. Okay, there's a comment here on the screen for you, mate. How many times did you get to check your camera? While you were <laughs> How away? many times did I check the camera? All right, so I was away <laughs> on my anniversary, which is only 24 hours, and I probably okay. checked it about five or six times. <laughs> I, was, I was tempted to have it on on the table at my anniversary meal. But I thought I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get kicked in the head here. So um, yeah, yeah, so I didn't have it on. But it's here, look. There she is, next to the. Uh, oh, that's just tucked away, mate. Yeah, it, you know what? It, it is a good thing that you know what. If I had to thought about getting. I thought about getting one of them myself. You know, dare I say it? Dare I say it? I actually thought. I thought you know what. They do look good, then they are quality them, you know, just to see, just to make, keep yeah. an eye on your tank, you know what I mean? Nice, so. Especially when you're doing your shifts now, mate, for four days, you yeah. need to be able to see what's going on, don't you? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a good, it's a good, no, it's good shout, man. It is. It is not the from Black oh, Pearl yeah, Reef, yeah. Black, Black Pearl Reef, yeah, I sent him a message, yeah, absolutely, fantastic, yeah, no, I'm using them, mate, and uh, yeah, massive shout out to you for uh, sending it to me, I really appreciate it. So I'm using one on the um, the phosphate, and I'm using one on the uh, the um, alkaline. So yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't know whether it's actually true. I don't know whether it's actually true yet. But on 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 the um, on my phosphate one, there was a tiny little scrape, you know, a tiny little scrape on it. And somebody, when I was reading, they said that uh, that it can detect, you know, you know, that it can give a, a false reading. Do you know, you know, with it because it they marked up. Now I don't know whether that's true or not, or whether it's just they you know, they, they, they're the way they think. I don't know. Do you mm. know what I mean? I'm not testing it. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to use, I'm going to use, I'm going to test them side by side at the same time, same water, and I'm going to do it identical, and then see whether there's any difference in the change, you know, between it. Because one has got yeah. a, a fairly decent sized scratch, you know, on it along the side. Right. Um, so I'm thinking, I don't, I don't, because it passes light through it, doesn't it? It passes yeah, light through yeah. it. So, so I don't know whether it might detect something in it. I, don't, I I'm not sure. You know what I mean? But I'm definitely. Uh, I'm going to check that out. I might do that actually tomorrow. Too truthful. Just uh, film it and just see whether it works. That'd be interesting. Mm -hmm. That one. It is based yeah, on the. Yeah. That's why they're so expensive because the glass yeah. is really obviously the clarity of the glass is really yeah. high for the light yes. reflection yeah. and things. So you I go through that, yeah. little, that little hairline fracture, whatever it is, might um, might play a part. Yeah. yeah. You gave me. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to grow your beard and shave your head? <laughs> you know what, right? I've got something to say here, right? So I watched, I watched your stream back. So there was you, Paul, Ross, obviously, Steve and Paul. And my missus went, out of all four of them, you still look the oldest. 
And I'm like, you know, <laughs> on this guy, you got Paul, who's what is he, 52? I, I was surprised yeah. at your age. You're like, are you 40, 42, 45, something, Steve? 41. 41. 41, right? Yeah. And obviously, then uh, Paul's the same age as me, 39, and then Ross is like a baby. But anyway, so I, I'm, I'm, in theory, I'm like the second youngest. And she's like, you look older than all of them. I was like, I know you know, <laughs> kids. You know if I shave, you know if I, you know if, you know if I shave my beard and everything and all, all that, mate. Yeah, I yeah. swear to God, I look like a kid. I look like a school kid, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I look like I should be in your class, honest to God, I, mate. If I, I shave my beard, yeah, I look it. so young. You know what? Honest to God. I mean, getting asked, getting asked for ID in Asda and all that is bad, isn't it? You know what I mean? That's that's terrible, you isn't it? You don't get asked for ID still, though. Surely. I, I got no, no. When I, when I, God, when was it? Two years when ago. You when, when, yeah, I was clean shaven. I went to Asda and I got asked for ID. I can't believe it. I went, you what? what? Asked for ID, but my mum's next door but one neighbour is the manager of Asda. So I said, listen, go and call Jennifer and she'll tell you. So she came over. And, she, and, she, and I'm two months older than her. And she went, he's older than me. You know what I mean? And he couldn't believe it. But it was just because I don't have a, didn't have a shave. Because I don't shave. Or I do trim myself, but I don't shave. That's it. Re Reefin keeps you young. That's all I can say. I'm glad I've joined it now, to be honest. So yeah, but it makes, you, makes, you, makes you lose your hair all the time, mate. Uh, if, I, if I shave my head and get a beard, I might look a bit younger, I reckon. Hopefully. Yeah. So, Jay, there's a question for us here if we're thinking of getting a bigger tank. So, oh, for me, question, anyway, right. it's, it's definitely a yes for me, I will be, but I don't know when it'll be. So, my plan is to yeah. try and run this tank for as long as I can, really, just so I can learn everything off this one. Um, like I say, I've only been in this kind of six months, so it's all relatively new to me. I'll run this tank for kind of as long as I can, to be honest with you. Then when it gets to a stage where I'm ready to upgrade and I think I know enough, then I'll go for it. Um, I did kind of talk previously about going for the six-foot peninsula, but I think that's just far too big. I think I'm going to go for a four-foot peninsula, and yeah. that'll probably do me, to be honest. Um, it's a bit less hassle with water changes and so on. I know I can't I kind of limit myself to some fish if I do that, but the main thing for me is going to be the corals anyway, so... I think I will go for the four foot um, peninsula. I mean, I might push it to five, but I think four is probably going to be the one for me, if I'm totally honest. So, answer the question yes, I will be getting a bigger tank. I don't know when. Yeah, a really good question, this, Alex. Um, I'm thinking early next year, so January, February. I do think this hobby is a, it's a winter hobby, isn't it? It's like an autumn, spring, winter hobby. And I'll be honest, I've struggled a bit in the summer because obviously the weather's so nice. You spend so much more time outside and you know doing doing other stuff um yeah. i've kind of not spent as much money and time on the tank at the moment i'm doing my maintenance and things like that but when when you know when kind of winter hits again um i think i would say it's january february time roughly next year um when, when i'm looking to to upgrade hopefully mm. the corals are a bit bigger as well but yeah i don't know what tank yet you know what tank i really want I want a Cade tank. I really want a Cade tank. Oh, yeah. Just because they kind of, they look really good, obviously, on the, on the YouTube videos. The, the, the build quality looks amazing. I know um, uh, Parker's Reef, he's, he's well into Cade tanks as well. He's got, he kind of endorses them. And not many people have them. And I know, obviously, a lot of people have this tank. But I quite like the idea of getting a tank that not a lot of people have. Mm -hmm. so maybe by saying it on this live stream everybody's going to go out and buy Cade tanks which is fine but uh, I do fancy a Cade tank but I don't know if they'll be here by next January if anybody can tell me um, yeah let me know I, I think they're coming aren't they they're coming soon yeah. mm. I'll tell you the yeah. tanks the tanks I do really like is the, the new Aqua Forest ones they look they're fantastic you know what I mean yeah. really really quality qual they look quality at tanks them you know mm -hmm. um, I don't I don't know I think uh I think if I was going to get a, a new tank, I probably would try one of them actually, because the way they set up, they set up, they design really good. I seen one in a shop, and um, I thought to myself, you know what, they look really, really good. Them, you know, the way they set up, the way they designed and everything. So, and the quality of the glass can't really be it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, it's. Uh, to be honest, I've not seen them, Steve. But yeah, you're, you're, not, you're an aquaforest man, aren't you? You're like all your yeah. ghosts are aquaforest, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, adults, everything, yeah, it's Aqua Forest. Yeah, because you well, nearly got me onto Aqua Forest at the start. Yeah. I saw how good your tank was and how co your corals just look amazing. And I was like, mm -hmm. I really fancy that Aqua Forest. It looks like a good range of kind of dosing. 
And then more yeah. people kind of put me on to um, the Red Sea, as it were. And then that's kind of, that's what I went with in the end. But yeah. Yeah. It yeah. It, yeah. It's, I mean, you know what? You know what? Since I changed from um, Red Sea, the yeah. um, the formula, all the formula on the Red Sea. I mean, listen, I'm not slagging Red Sea off because it didn't do anything wrong with my tank. You know what I mean? But when I was dosing that, it was mm. it works all right. You know, there was no problems. You know, there wasn't like any cyano or you know anything dodgy in my tank. It was it worked okay. But I just wasn't yeah. seeing a lot of growth. I seen good colour. Don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? But um, they, but there wasn't like much growth. In fact, it was very, very minimal growth. You know, with it, and I think yeah. I was getting a bit peed off with it, I suppose. And I was like, God, you know, let's let's change it up. And then I went on to um, I went on to the the aquaforest stuff, and I've never looked back. I've, and I don't think I'll change. You know, the only time, well, I won't change. I won't change from their products. But the only time is when my tank completely begins to fall out, yeah, mm -hmm. and then and then we're dosing more because now I'm on around 300 mil, 280, 300 mil a day now of that stuff, yeah. So it's pretty intense, you know. When you're looking at it, like in the sense of you, where I can store, I can only store five litre, five litre cans, so it doesn't last long. Do you know what I mean? It lasts about what fourteen days or twelve days, thirteen. Then I'm having to mix it back up and do it again. So it's just like. And then when it comes up to the point where you're going to be looking at like four or five hundred mil or something, then I'm mm. going to have to look at, um, elsewhere. Like Paul said the other day, the other week, um, he's like looking at, a, you know, like a, a, me, a, a calcium reactor or something like that and dosing it that way. Do you know what I mean? So I think I think that'll be the way eventually. But um, hopefully not for a long time because it's just a nightmare to set up. From what I've seen anyway, and it's dialing it in and stuff like that. It's mm. just... Uh, a bit people of a nightmare. Do people said stand tend to stay with kind of the same brand of dosing with one tank, or do some people swap in between? I don't know. No, a lot of people. No, I know. I know change. people who swap, you, you change. Yes, yeah, swap a change. Yeah, it's yeah. not like just because you use a product doesn't mean that you're tied down to that product. You know what I mean? What, mm. what, like, say for instance, you was on like say ready salt, say for instance, and you wanted it to like when I was when I was doing water changes, I was on red sea salt, and then a slowly. And what I did was what I did was then was I slowly changed it over onto Tropic Manning Pro. You know that salt, yeah. So yeah. rather than chucking the system because different salts and different batches, aren't they? You know they have different, you know, DKHs, calciums and stuff like. That. So rather than shocking the tank, I did it gradually. So what I did was I started to dose. You know, like put like a scoop of the other powder in with the Red Sea, and now you all know, slowly but surely and do it that way, and then over mm -hmm. time. I eased off the Red Sea and then went on to the Tropic Manning. And then, it, and then obviously, oh, I, I just stayed with Tropic Manning. So you just, and it's the same with products, you know, the products, what you dose. Same with Red Sea products. I went from them slowly and then I, I swapped on to the Aqua Forest and I did mm. it that way. So it was just a slow process, you know, just change it over. Because you, you yeah. it will, your tank will know that you changed, you know what I mean? So you don't want to shock it. So that for me, it was mm. like, and it was a good progress really because I never had any issues. So it, it definitely worked good for me. So I don't mm. see why it wouldn't work out for anybody else. You know what I mean, really? Yeah. So yeah, there's a couple of comments here about the the K tank. So uh, where were we? I think some. I'm excited said, about this. I hope it can happen. Nah. Uh, oh yeah, that was it. K pipework is a joke. So I don't know what the deal with the right, pipework okay. is, but there's maybe an issue with that. Um, New Reefen says apparently K tanks are waiting for delivery, so they're maybe not that far away. Um, right. I see yeah, these the Rob Lage put I'm faces not... up for them, so I don't know what. <laughs> a lot these... of people are not happy about it. <laughs> Honestly, I've never, <laughs> seen, I've never seen one in the flesh, but they look, um, they do look good on the video. So I but think they look fantastic from everything video. that I've seen. I mean, I think they look really good. But there's one yeah. here saying Nios Opus 300 top tank. I've never, I've never even heard of that one, so I don't know. Oh what yeah, that yeah. One is. Yeah, it's the night it's the Nios that, that, that I think I don't think they made many many I don't think they made many tanks Nios actually. They they the thing they advertised it at the uh you know the German show, the the what's it called? The you know where they do the well it's like the equivalent of um Machner in it sort of thing, mm. but it was in Germany or not. And they did they hosted it and they show you those opus ones, those Nios opens. I think they actually fit, you know, the casing. I think they actually fit inside the wood, you know, like like it's got like a oh, casing, yeah. around, you know it. So it sits flush, so you can't actually see the actual, um, you know, the actual um, adhesive, oh, you know, the, yeah, the silicon. Yeah. yeah, you can't yeah, see yeah. the silicon around the bottom. So it looks like you're just actually seeing in, you know, in the tank. It, it do look nice, actually, but I've never mm. actually seen one in the flesh. So, mm. yeah, they, they do look nice, actually, then. 
a question here from Black Pearl Reef saying, has none of you looked at the idea of using calc slurry? So I haven't looked at that at all, but... No. I've heard of it. I've heard it. I've heard it. I've heard of it. Yeah, it's where you have it. It's like a finger which turns at the bottom, you know, slowly yeah. to keep it going. But I've never, I've seen the idea. I've seen the idea of it, but no. I think if I was using uh, anything, it would be definitely like going into like a, a, a calcium reactor. But they, they cost mm -hmm. a fuck for the quality calcium reactor. You know, we're talking like a really good quality one. You look at like eight, nine hundred pounds for a good, you know what I mean, all set up and stuff. Because it's not just buying like yeah. you, you got to buy the tank and you know, you know the um, CO two and stuff like. You got to buy everything. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot of money, and it's the space. You know, we all yeah. we all limited with space, aren't we? You know, in our hobby, yeah. Because you've got your sump underneath, and it's like, where do you put it? It's just all. I, I, I don't think my missus would be best pleased if I've got a gas tank in the middle of the room. You know what I mean? And stuff like that. it's not gonna. That's not gonna happen, is it? You know what I mean? Yeah. So there's a point you need to draw the line and just have it keeping. You know, keeping what you need and what isn't really a necessity kind of out the way. I would yeah. say. I mean, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need. Sorry. When you when you go, Jay. Sorry. I say I know Reef Kings. He's dosing calc. What is yeah. it doing? Is it changing pH? Is that, what, is that the main reason why you dose it? Cow it, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. pH. Is that why people do it? Um, I think it's. I think it's a mixture, isn't it? I think it's a mix. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's a bit for your pH and uh, your overall parameters and stuff like that, your alkalinity and stuff like that. I think it does right. the whole batch, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Carl, that's just, uh, just correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure that's the case, and it, it does keep it more stable, I suppose. Um, but I'm not 100% I'm not hundred percent sure because I've never really dosed it, so I wouldn't even yeah, like to yeah. come to be perfectly honest. Yeah. I've never looked into it, to be honest, mate. I mean, it's no. one of those that I'm trying to get away without dosing for as long as I can, and, and to be honest with Having such a small tank and doing twenty percent water changes every week, I don't have a need to dose yet. So yeah. I think yeah. to be honest, as long as I've got this tank, I'll get away with that because I'm not keeping anything that's going to be consuming too much anyway. So mm. it's uh it's gonna be pretty pretty simple for me, I think, to be honest. But You're doing it right. So like super yellow tank it just says keep it simple. You know, exactly. with your water, with your water yeah. changes, if you do nothing nothing makes tank look better than doing a water change, does it really? You can oh. dose whatever you like him, but if you do a decent water change after a water change it looks amazing every time it's just nice yeah. nice and fresh yeah. um yeah. and that's that's what it's all about isn't it absolutely yeah. yeah just do water changes that seems to be just i mean that's changes that was my plan when i done my research beforehand that was what i was going to do because like i say it is such a small tank for me so do not yeah. water change you see so i say i'm doing 20 percent water change every week but that is only one bucket it's a simple 10 liter bucket it's not it's not difficult so it's actually really you, you, you see, you see, you see. I think, I think, super yellow tanks right there. Yeah, keep it simple, one hundred percent. Yeah, just do water changes. Yeah, one hundred percent. But then it draws the line where I, I believe that's the case in like smaller tanks. So any fill up to say like a two hundred liter or something. Yeah, and you do like say a ten percent or twenty percent water change for twenty liters or forty liters. Yeah, that's good. But then we, like we've said, like we said before, and um, when I when. Um, you know, we've had guests on the show and stuff like that, and Paul and everything. Yeah, when it, when you got when you're talking like you've got a 600 litre tank and a thousand litre tank and stuff like that, yeah, then water changes. You've got to find something else as well. You can't just do a water change. I think it's going to be great. Uh, what a hundred, a hundred, like yeah, you said. I think it was last week what you Ross. Yeah, hundred litre water change in a thousand, ten percent. Where where you you know you have to get it all pumped up and stuff like it. It'll just be an absolute nightmare. You mean that's why. I went off it. I've only got 350, so 350 litres of water. And doing a 10%, 10%, 20% water change, and that peed me right off. I was like 70 litres, carrying in buckets and all that, and tipping them in the sump, but it was just a nightmare, do you know what I mean? So for yeah. me, it was like, I had to figure something out and, and do it do it the opposite. And then obviously, by, by chance, it just, you know, it seemed to fit into place. And, I'm, and like I said, I've not done a water change for what, two years now? Or yeah, coming up to two years. So yeah, mm. it's... It, for the small tank, I believe it's perfect, but yeah. Uh, that's, what's another, that that's another parameter that's underrated, isn't it? pH. Oh, that's pH. Absolutely yeah. critical because yeah. a lot of the pH. a lot of the algae and a lot of like dinos and stuff like that get driven when the pH drops and stuff. Yeah. And keeping pH. it high is, is difficult. If you need obviously oh. need a window, you yeah. get a lot of fresh air, but getting fresh air yeah. to your tank and the fans obviously blowing over the surface. But what's the ideal about 8.4? Is that the kind of 
Well, the higher the better in it, I think. To be truthful, I think what? it's the higher the better. I mean, the, 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 the most, the the most uh, I think the highest mine mine's ever got to is about eight point three. I think yeah. eight point three one or something, yeah. Um, and that's like having all the doors open, the windows open, like the whole lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. My, my, mine's like in the living room. My tax is like in the living room, and it's only a small terrace house sort of thing. So, and it's in like a corner, so it's like it can't get air from the kitchen, and it can't get air, and it's only got like a little tiny um, window on the living room. Do you know what I mean? So you're not getting much air there. So. That's why oh, I yeah. put CO2 scrubber on mine. Since I put CO2 scrubber on it, it's a lot better. It it, it it did keep it more stable than thing. But when it, when I didn't have before I added that on, I was getting like seven point nine and seven point eight eight and stuff like that. It was like really low. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, that's not yeah, good, yeah. that's not good enough, you know, for the tank. Now it's stable it's at around. Right. It's, it's, about, it's about eight point. It's about eight point one. It runs stable roughly. -ish, yeah. You know what I mean? During the night it drops. Yeah. Well, it's about eight point one, I'd say. You know what I mean? See, so, I keep so my tanks in kind of one of my spare rooms as such that nobody's really ever in, to be honest with you. So the the pH in mine sits anywhere kind of roughly between seven point eight to eight point two, sometimes eight point three. But I keep yeah. the vents in this room and the windows open, and it's not as if there's you know it seems to work okay at that. So I think I've been quite lucky just to land it at that. I did struggle to start with, but I yeah. think it was my test kit that was wrong. So when I switched test kits, it seemed to be bang on then. So. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm a bit yeah. happier now. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. 8.7 yeah. he's getting, Black uh, Pearl Reef. That is awesome. 8.5. 8.7? No, no, he's saying, awesome. he's, say, he's, say, he's saying Telegram is running Calc Slud out on his tank and his pH hits yeah. 8.7. Oh, my God. That's awesome. How does that yeah, work your out? Reef's, your reef's going to love that. Your reef is going to absolutely Oh, what? It. Anything high in a reef of pH is... is 100% one of the best things, no doubt about it. You know what I mean? If yeah. you could get high pH in it, it's it's perfect, mate. 8.5, that's just crazy. There's Reef King saying that the calc in his tank, I think he's saying is 9 pH 82. It must be 8.2, sorry. 8.2 inches is pH, yeah, and his alc is 9. That's perfect. Yeah. Well, natural reefs, they, they're on limestone, aren't they? Natural reefs grow on limestone. Yeah, yeah. In Georgia, yeah. and obviously that's kind of really alkaline. Yeah, so obviously yeah. when we put all these, like, mine's artificial rock here. I don't know, you know, if it buffers at that. It can't buffer the same as limestone, no chance. No, no, no. That's no, where no, live no. rock is better, isn't it? Because you're going to get higher pH as well. Absolutely. Well, that's, yeah, that's why they say put put it in. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. put, put live rock if you can. But, you know, a lot of people, well, I say a lot of people, people are wary of putting live rock in it in the tanks, aren't they? You know, because of like critters and they can get big, you know, different bugs and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. They're just yeah. more offensive, you know, about would you, would you use live rock? Because at the moment, I don't think I still would. You know, you know, the only live rock I get is like, you know, like when the mushrooms say, for instance, you know, like the mushrooms come, you know, when I bought that big mushroom, the, the tower, yeah, like yeah. The, the bit in the corner, yeah, that came mm. on a piece of live rock anyway. It was already yeah. like wedged on it, so. That, that's the only time I'll ever put live rock in mine. The rest of my rock in there is all like man made, you know what I mean? So it was like it came from me 170 and then I added yeah. onto it. So none of it, none of it other than the, the, the frags I, I either get of people or or maybe something, you know, like maybe like I said, the mushrooms or something like that when they're on the little tiny pieces of live yeah, rock. Yeah. That's the only live rock I put in my tank. I don't put anything other than that in it, you know what I mean? So. I but if you remember, my, tank, my, my tank's over three years old now, isn't it? So it's more like, yeah. it, it's probably like live well, rock now. Yeah, yeah. All the of the bacteria in it. So it's probably like a live rock anyway now. So, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, if I could, I'd take a piece of my rock out and put it in yours. It would yeah. be like you getting a piece of live rock, you know what I mean? Because it's that mm. mature now that I, I couldn't see it being a problem. Do you know what I mean? So... Mm -hmm. That's yeah, the thing, you know, when, you, when you've got when you've got the kind of first tank, then you move your rock into the next one, don't you? you kind yeah, of it's seeded. So you like yeah, seed. you've got your seeded, yeah. You've got your own live seeded. rock there, haven't you? But that yeah, just, just getting some live rock and put it in a brand new tank. I think you're a brave man to do that when you're spending all this money. A yeah, brave man to do that. You know, you're spending well, thousands yeah. and you're putting a rock in that you don't really know what's on it. Yeah, yeah, It'd be yeah. Great to yeah. Do that, Considering it? the lengths that we go to to dip everything to keep pressing that out, and then you dump in yeah. live rock that you really, like you say, you don't have well, to much on that. You, you, you seen it with yours always, didn't you? And that yeah. rock side, what well, you use rocks, you know what I mean? Yeah, look, yeah. and then you know you got it, it looks all right, and then the next minute, you know, boom, 
there's like green, you're like, where the hell's all that come from? Yeah. You just uh-huh. don't you just don't know where these things come from. They, it's like you're sat in your tank and you'll see something crawling, you'll be like, Where the hell's that come from? You dip everything, mm. you do everything that you know the way you should be done. But no matter how many times you dip something, no matter how yeah. many how, how much you like go about you know being the best, the, the greatest reefer you can be, you will always get some sort of critter in your tank. It's end of stuff, you will get it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they be, they be say that about Aptasia, don't they? Aptasia oh. is just apparently just waiting for Aptasia at some point. Aptasia Everybody. will get in freaking that'll get in no matter what, mate. It'll get in yeah. anywhere that. You know what I mean? Mm. I mean, if you, if I, mm. I've, 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 I think I've shown you guys, haven't I, yet? And in my way, I've got, I've got two peppermint shrimps in my tank anyway. You know, we yeah. made this way, bro. But, and there's no Aptasia in that tank whatsoever. You cannot see, you cannot find Aptasia there. But if I put, if I put my phone in my way, yeah, I've got, I've got Aptasias the size of bloody mushrooms in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Gold stools, honest to God, in there, in uh, the way, yeah. 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 You'd be blown away if I could. In fact, I'll film it and I'll put it on a video, yeah, and and I'll show you how many, That's... how many, how many there is in that way. But because if if the little particles or the little seeds, yeah, get into the tank and they latch onto the rock, then the peppermint shrimp go at them straight away. So yeah. they take them out. You know what I mean? So that's why. Other than that, if I didn't have them in my tank, I reckon I'd be full of bacteria yeah. in my yeah. tank. You know what I mean? You're managing you it, it's not a problem. You can't get to them though because you can't get your hand in, you know, in the way. Yeah, so you yeah. can't, even if you wanted to put like sort of like Aptasia X or, you know, the lemon juice and stuff like that, squirt the lemon juice in, mm-hmm. you can't do it because I can't get my hand in. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. you're screwed, you know, in a way. So, yeah. yeah. But, but, um, yeah. There's a question here from Rudra that's come up saying that he tried my green hair algae dip. It's not mine, it's just a method that I've done, but uh, <laughs> tried the green hair algae dip with hydrogen peroxide, worked for a few zoos and nuked others. <laughs> couldn't get the amount to add right, I think he said, um, as a problem. So, long story short, there isn't a, a quantity that you have to add. It depends how much water you've got there. But basically, what I done was just added it, kept adding a small amount. I think I was doing five mils at a time or something um, in the water, waiting maybe five, ten seconds, adding another five mil and so on until you start to see bubbles coming from it. When you start to see the bubbles coming from it, stop and then wait five minutes, then take it out, rinse it in the clean water and so on. So, that's where I done it. As soon as you kind of start to see the bubbles, that's when I stopped. Now, I don't know if you can go more than that. Now, I know Mark's, Mark was in the chat, Practical Reefer. He done it as well, but he used the um, hydrogen peroxide neat. He didn't dilute it at all. And I think he killed quite a lot of these corals. So I'm not quite sure if, well, obviously you can put too much in and it will kill them. So I personally don't think doing it neat is the way to go. No. I think you're better diluting it yeah. into tank water and when you start to see bubbles that's it obviously starting to react with the algae so if you are going to do the hydrogen peroxide dip that's the way that i would recommend to do it i don't know if the other way of doing it neat is as i kind of recognize we are doing it or not i'm not sure but when i googled it everybody else had said the same kind of thing you know don't do it neat do it with the dilution so um i know that like i say mark did try it neat and i think he did have success with some but he did kill other ones i think he killed a lot of his polyps and so on doing it that way so um yeah, I, I'm not entirely sure, but there isn't an exact formula for it. I think it's just a case of waiting until you see the bubbles and that's it stopped. So that's the way I've done it anyway, and it has worked really well. I mean, there's still no algae on that rock. It's done It's done a great job, to be honest. And I think I will probably dip any future frags that I get in that as well. So I'll still do my normal dip, but I'll then also dip it in hydrogen peroxide. Now, that might be a bad idea. I don't know. But I think I'll try it and see how I get on with that, just so that you're kind of limiting that potential of bringing anything else into the tank. Yeah. How would that respond with like different species of corals? Do you think it'll still be all right? Because like some of these corals are pretty, I would, pricey, uh, yeah. pretty pricey. No. You won't want to kill it before you even put it in. Go no, so anything over. I, would, I, would, I, would, I don't think I'd do it with like uh like tort euphilias and stuff, you know, like torches and frog spawns and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. No. I think chalice, I'd stay with no chance. I don't think I'd, I don't, chalice, no, no, no chance. chance whatsoever. Well, chalice, you don't even dip normal dip, let alone peroxide. No. You know mm. what I mean? So, no, anything, anything yeah. like that. So, remember, this chalice is like got more of a skeleton type thing in it, yeah. And it's only got a very thin skin, you know, on yeah. it. So, like, if you put anything, that's why they say they don't recommend don't, don't dip chalices because if you, if you overdose with it, it's gone. It's like completely, mm. like, stripped completely. So, yeah. I mean, if I'm if I'm in a situation where I'm not 100 percent sure, I don't dip it. I just think, you know what? 
I, I'm not going to run the risk. I'll just <laughs> take the risk. I'll take the risk in my tank just in case. You know what I mean? Especially if it's yeah. an expensive piece. You yeah. know what I mean? So there's no do way. You, do you guys ever get the nerves whenever you put something new in? Do you get the like the weak nerves? You're like, what's going to happen next? When oh, it's a yeah. girl or a fish, you're like, you're crapping yourself in case something happens. Yeah, like, when there's you no put it in, it doesn't. You put it in, it doesn't open up when you think it'll open up. You know, it could take a couple of days, and you're going, <laughs> yeah. "Oh no, I've killed this. There's something wrong with this. I've done something." But yeah. your fingers yeah. crossed, everything seems to be right in the end. But yeah, I totally get that, Jay. I get that sometimes as well. And I, I mean, like I say, my stuff's not even that expensive that I'm putting in, but it's the same same thing. You still get that paranoid feeling. Um, Mark Practical Reefer said that the zoos were all 100 fine. But he done about two dozen, no problem. But killed some clove polyps. So I think kind of what you were saying there, Steve. Yeah, clove polyps probably aren't suitable for that. Um, but he said there that he also done mushrooms as well. So I think it's kind of zoas, mushrooms, that kind of thing yeah. seem to be fine with the hydrogen peroxide. Again, Mark did do his neat, but his other mind diluted. So I don't know. You know, you could maybe do a really weak dilution and get out of it a bit. But I don't think I would do any kind of higher end corals anyway. That's for sure. Yeah, he knows. No. He knows his stuff as well. He does practical reef. It's good. Yeah, there's a yep. coral reef queens have said this. She swears by reef primer. It's an amazing dip. See bugs jumping straight off. Now, I haven't ever used that one to be honest. No, 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 I've not no, used it. Have you see no. the bugs jumping off? Yeah, like uh, I think Carl said as well. It's hard not to get some sort of bugs at some point, isn't it? It's kind of just yeah. uh, sometimes you're like, how the hell did that get in there? Even though you've not got much in. Like, no, no. How the hell does that get in? Exactly. It, you, you know what? You're always going to get bugs in your tank. You know what I mean? Yeah. No matter what. It's uh, it's just one oh, of those I'll things. Love it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and it's um, it's just it's just like you said. Bugs come on it, all sorts of things. You know what I mean? They'll come in beside like like it's like my uh my SPS there. I've got like the SPS, and I was like, what the hell is that? And I didn't even see it. It had a tiny, tiny little crab in it. And I was like, what in the hell, you know? So I zoomed in on my camera and I was like, and I sent a picture to my mate and he went, oh yeah, it's just an aqua border crab. They live in it. And they, what they do is, well, if any food gets stuck in, you know, in in the, uh, when you know, when you feed your fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the food gets stuck in, in the, in, in the you know, yeah, in the polyps and the twigs and all that, yeah. Basically they yeah. go around and clean it so, so it doesn't basically kill it. You know what I mean? Mm. Strip it. So, yeah, I was so like, oh. like symbiotic relationship in a reef. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just just like say for instance, clownfish nice. and and enemies, and yeah, enemies yeah. Hold clownfish because yeah. because what because they feel safe and stuff like that. yeah. But then in return, the clownfish come and they bring the the enemy food. So yeah, you know I, what I, mean? I love that sort. It's like the magic of a reef, isn't it? So like yeah. I, obviously, I've got the goby and the pistol shrimp, mate. Yeah. That is so good to watch those two together helping mm. each other out through the day, as it were. Uh, but Absolutely. my clowns, my clowns don't pay any attention to the anemone. None. No. Nope. No, they're not, my, not my, about my, it. My cloud, my, my main ones in my main display, yeah, they didn't, they, they, they never fingered with uh, what do you call it. However, they take a liking to S, they take a liking to, um, to me, uh, torch corals. Torches, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's very, very similar. You know what I mean? You know, you know, the yeah. way the tentacles are, but they rub themselves up against them. So they, you know what I mean? And then they irritate, they, they irritate torches, oh, and then the torch will catch brown jelly disease. And before you know it, it's dead. You know what I mean? Mm. So, that's why I hate it. You know, I, I hate them when they when they go near it because it's just it's just you're running the risk. You know, with them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit. So there's a comment that here like that says. Uh, this comment here says you can't get away with only water changes with SPS tanks. Now, from what I've seen, Steve, I think your tank's one of the best that I've seen in a long time. It's got SPS in it, and you don't yeah. do water changes. I know Paul doesn't do water changes and so on. So, I don't think I agree with that. To be honest with you, I don't know if anybody else in the comments has. Experience with that, but from what I've seen, changes with oh, you can't get away with it. Yeah, yeah you you basically, you need to you need to dose as well with SPS. That's what he's saying. Which oh. I don't know. Maybe I probably do actually. I don't know. Yeah, you yeah you probably yeah yeah. Well, well, actually, no. It, it, it depends on how many corals you got in your tank, doesn't it? You know what I mean. Mm. You've yeah. got one. You got one or two mushrooms. Uh, sorry, sorry, one or two like uh, sort of like Cetosa or you know a Ceratopia. So that's not majorly hardy in in a in a in an SPS tank, you know what I mean? Something that hardy and stuff like that. Water changes will be fine, you know what I mean? I don't. It won't be. It won't be an issue, you know what I mean? It's only when you're getting into like the the more you know the more higher end, so to speak, of the SPS and you, the tank's getting full, yeah, completely full. Then yeah, water well, changes is not good. Volume, good. isn't it? If you've got more yeah, SPS, yeah, you're have yeah. more. So I'm guessing yeah. if you've got like, some... tiny little it's... sticks like I've yeah. got, yeah. It's... 
What a change yeah, with yeah, like, like, like you, you don't dose, do you, Jay? You don't really I dose. dose. Yeah, I do, I do yeah. dose, but it's not yeah, but so, but, out. yeah, but that's what I mean. But you've not got it on a dose, so you're not going to set up on a dose and stuff like that. Have you? I've got a dose to make, yeah. Have you? Yeah, that's the controversy about my tank because I've got a tiny tank. So what a change. Is, you don't need the doser, to be honest. No, because you I, only do minimal, don't you? Yeah, you know, dose, so I do I dose alkalinity, I dose four mil a day. You're gonna love this. You're running out of the doser. Yeah, magnesium, half half a mil of magnesium a day. Half a mil. I didn't even think it would dose half a mil on a doser. Yes. Half a yes. Uh, well, I don't know how accurate it is, obviously, but yeah, let me show you that wow. here. Wow, no oh, way, mate. Two I believe I thought he was manually yeah. doing it. Can't be bothered, mate. It's too busy. <laughs> there you go. Look. Anyway, you can't be bothered to do loads of stuff, so I don't know what you're about here. Right. Come on. Half a, half a mil. <laughs> there you go. Jesus. Says, mate, says the man who, like, wants a robot glass cleaner. You don't want to do anything. Hey. hey. I want a robot. I, but what if I told you before, Jake, the, more, the least I can do and enjoy my tank is That's the so there you That's go. Really so I'm going to say to you, the least I can do, the better I'm going to do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, those are like minimal amounts. But to be fair, mate, I do think it's kept the tank stable. I do think it helps with stability. Dear. But yeah, I don't know. You don't need to do it on a nano, though. But again, it's something I bought that I knew that I'm going to need later down the line as well. No, so, no, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. And well, I knew you bought it, but I thought yeah, that's what you was doing, was waiting for, yeah. or you know, until that, like it was filling out completely, sort of thing. So that's what I thought he was yeah. doing for, right? Yeah. yeah. Same uh, with the Radian, uh, the Radian's like overkill on this tank, to be honest. But yeah. Then yeah, I know yeah. when I get an X tank up, I just buy one unit and then, you know, it's kind of. Absolutely. I was, yeah. Thinking, yeah. I was thinking longevity in my investment, really. Trying to. You see, really, like, you, like your, your Radian over there, yeah, that's like, you could hey, easily. Look how, do, look how bright the could, tank is. is that that's what I mean. You could, you, could, you could easily have, have that on, say, 100 and, say, a one. You probably have that on a 150 or something, 160. Yeah, yeah. And that'll be more. That'll be even that one light will do. Do you know what I mean? It's been about 60 percent at the moment there, mate. Yeah, if I've got an 100. It'll cook everything. It starts boiling yeah. the water. It's like a kettle. It cremated. It cremated, mate. Honest to God, it cremated. Yeah. It I mean, does, really. Yeah. I mean, I've got the AI Prime on my Nano, but I wish that I went with the Radion. Really, now in hindsight, I should have gone with the Radion. You know what you know it was what I mean? though. So. Obviously, that radian there is, I think it's about 350, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. My, my, I, mine came with a refled 50. Yeah, that's I right. Yeah. A refled 50 because it was brand new for 200 quid. So I paid 150 quid for the radian. That's that's yeah. how it worked. Yeah. Because I didn't use it. It's a brand new light. So I just, just sold it straight on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, no, you didn't. If, did I, was it, doing, you if did I was doing it, it again, I, if I was buying this tank again, I would still do that upgrade because it's, it's a 150 pound upgrade, basically. Yeah, 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 makes sense, mate. Yeah, it does <laughs> make sense. There's, there's a comment here from Debbie Collingwood saying the clowns have killed two torches in the past, even though they oh, love their yeah, enemies. About that. I was told they like to suck the torch tentacle things. Apologies, that's the wrong term for them. That's um, <laughs> that's that's definitely an interesting one, that's, isn't it? That's probably what that's probably what mine did to my gold, my Australian gold torch. <gasps> my very, I had an Australian gold torch. If you look back, God. Maybe a year and a half ago, or so it's got to be yeah, a year. And a, I had a gold, and it was stunning. It was incredible. Yeah, yeah. The color on it was mind blowing. In fact, I'd yeah. go as far to say the color of it was better than, like, say, the Holy Grail that I've got. You know what I mean? It was so colorful, so gold. And then I came down, and it was like, like all curled up. And then I moved it, and then it turned to mush, and it basically got brown oh, chili no. disease. And that's because the clowns were just rubbing themselves on it. And and like you said, probably. Uh, Sucking the tentacles, so to speak. You know what I mean? It's uh, I don't know what they were doing, but it def they, those clownfish definitely killed that torch. There's no doubt about you, it. You'd, you'd need a prison like uh, bit, uh, right, Ross, wouldn't you? You'd whack it, yeah. you'd whack it <laughs> the prison. Yeah, but what, mean, what, what's what, what's better, a torch or a, or a pair of clowns? I actually prefer coral now to, to fish. <laughs> yeah, you, there was this. This was a debate, wasn't it? I think they should put it in the chat. Yeah. This is a debate on. Was it you? Was it YouTube or Instagram this week? Yeah. Coral only or fish only? You had to choose one. Mm -hmm. I seen what would that. You go with? Ross, what would you go with? Coral only for me, mate. Oh, but would you have said that from day one? Yeah, that's always All been right. my thing from day one, mate. Yeah, that that one hundred percent's been my thing from day one. So yeah, I'm I'm maybe the slightly odd one out in that, but yeah, that's definitely been my thing. 
Yeah. See, I'd have, I wouldn't have said that on day one. I was all about the fish Ooh. at first. But now, now it's coral only. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm the same. Coral, coral for me. Coral, coral. Uh, I mean, if 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 at hindsight, what if I could see my tank? You know, at the beginning, yeah. If I could have seen my tank from the beginning, what it looks like now, yeah, and what it's yeah. going to look like in the future, what I would have done was I would have just bought, like, say, four, four or five yellow tanks altogether. That's what I would have bought. And then <laughs> what was bought... an investment? Is no, no, just no, 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 not as an investment. But I would have just bought four to five yellow tangs because oh, so well. you know what? They're so nice, you know, like the way they swept. They're just beautiful. I love yellow tangs. Yeah, stuck them in and just gone all around, just gone all out for coral and just had four yeah. or five yellow tangs. That that I think would have been perfect. You know what I mean? But <laughs> like you said, we, we, you, you get excited, you get excited, don't you? You know when you buy your tank and you then you upgrade and then you go, God, I need to get more fish in here. And then before you know it, it's like fish are not doing anything. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's not making the tank look full. And then you add a couple more coral and this coral. And before just, you know it, it just goes so much, mate. You're just buying coral for the sake of anything. It's just just to fill it? your tank up. But it's the corals that make it look like just artwork, aren't they? Basically, these reef tanks are just living art. I don't think yeah. you can get any. What can you put in a room that looks better than a than a than a reef tank with full of coral? Exactly. Nothing. Nothing looks better than that, does it? I can't think of no. anything. You just walk into I your think, room every time and go, "Oh my god, that looks insane." Yeah, I think it, it kind of takes know, us back to like the whole sea friendly reef thing. He was saying, you know, that it's all about that's his his love for the artwork as such. You know, yeah, that is yeah. the whole thing with. He, yeah. he goes and films these tanks that are in stunning rooms and stunning houses, but the tanks yeah. are the focal point. It doesn't matter how nice the house or the, the room or anything is, then, you know, it's, it's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. And that's why they're so expensive, isn't it? Because they are really special. I mean, everybody in this chat's got one, and it's just so special to have one. Yeah. yeah. They look, they look incredible. I, mean, so I can't come in the room without going, oh, my God, that looks ace. Mm. Just, they just do, yeah. don't they? You, look, you just go in and you yeah. say, that looks ace. You know, you know what? This is a this is a this is a this is a you know no true comment. This so from Alex. He's put okay. fish out the coral, especially yeah. in the tank yeah. poop, because poop, yeah. of the nutrients out the poo and all that. The fish, yeah. the corals take it, and that helps them grow. You know what I mean? That helps them sustain yeah. health. So you know what? Perfect. Yeah, absolutely. A mix, a I mix mean, yeah. One, like, without, 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 one, without no fish in the sea, mate, there would no coral reef. That's for sure. You know what I mean? No. That's the way you look at it. Mm. You know, they, they would all be dead. So. You know what I mean? So here's a good question for us from Scott Morrison. Now he's asked if I had to swap your tank for any of the coolest yeah. tanks, which one would you want? So oh, that's me, it. This no, you can't say that. He this, wants to sort of can't say that, can you? That's not fair, no, is it? We'll go with this one because for this one, I've is said this, this for anybody one, who's ever yeah. been on this live stream. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Or is it it's just that of us three? Don't know, but for me, I'm going to throw it out there, and I've said this from day one that Moggy's tank is my dream tank. That's the one that I have always <laughs> said that that is the one for me. So that's an easy it. one for me. I no no offense, J Paul, nobody, but Steve's yeah, one's yeah. the one for me. Like that is. I the, appreciate that. It's very difficult. You know what? Oh, God, I can't say anything. You know, he because... can't take praise. Honestly, that's the thing. <laughs> you know, I, I can't say anything, mate. You know what? It's a very difficult one because. I don't know. I don't know because it's different in it. You see, because you know, because you like like with Ross's, yeah. He likes his mushrooms and he likes his you know stuff like that, yeah. And yeah. and I love the way he's shaped. Either and I and I think like your arch with a, if you do like a, all Zoas on your arch, mate. I think that'll just look absolutely yeah. incredible. I think it looks yeah. stunning now. So it's a separate, yeah. but it's a totally different tank to what Jay's got. Jay's got like. Yeah. Sort of like a, a, a nano mixed reef, do you know what I mean? Yeah, which is yeah. hard as well. So, but I love torch coral in there, I love it like all the torches, I love all of the stuff in there. So, for me, yeah, I couldn't say anything because I love them both. So, I'm not even gonna choose, I'm, I can't choose. Yeah. Just it's just Paul's mate, he's not here. <laughs> it's what? Just pick oh, Paul's, then he's not here. Right, oh, Paul, I'm, yeah. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be diplomatic, I'm gonna be honest, right. I can't there's one, one, there's one there's one i know i respect i respect what you're doing steve there i respect it but people have asked me which one's the best right and there's one that just stands out and that's yours steve mate <laughs> you know what no, I, you, you're, you're, you're gonna be, you're gonna make me cry in a minute you know what I mean? mixed reef mate, <laughs> it's, it's unreal it's unreal as soon as i saw yeah. it on youtube i was like i'm gonna subscribe to this guy and that's how i know you dosed aquaforest yeah. I was thinking about what to dose, and you nearly drew me to it just because how good your tank looks. 
He calls it amazing. It's just, yeah. I mean, I I'm, I'm just talking for myself, but I feel that we're not we're mm. not even the same league compared to yours. No. Yeah, yeah, but it's different because remember, user user like just got in it. User yeah. only been in eight months. You know what I mean? Nine, yeah. Eight, nine, nine months and stuff like that. You know what I mean, mate? So, could <laughs> mate? You know what? So, <laughs> just, mate, you know what? I feel, I feel, I feel embar not embarrassed, but I feel like I don't know. It's, I feel no, we, we just need more time, Steve. Yours has been running what four years? Three years. Three years, yeah. right? So come back. Well, 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 well. No, my main display, my main that main tank has been running to and to what to. Two years and three months that one, but overall, overall, I've had with me with me one seventy and that tank has been three years. So, the, yeah. the, my my whole journey has been three years, a little over three years. My whole journey, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So yeah, you know. But 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 let, let's put it this way: what you got to look at is look at your tanks. If you kept your tanks for the next three, three years, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. your tank your tank will look nothing like that. It'll look completely different. You know what I mean? So this is what you got to look at. Come back and ask us that question in three years' yeah. time, then, no, the, then you can say, you know what I mean? The beauty but, of this social media, obviously, you've got people helping you, but you can always look back on your tank. So you can yeah, go yeah. back and look six months. Like even everybody on Instagram, you're looking back at your tank, aren't you? And how, mu how much does it change? You're like, oh, I can't believe how crap it looked there. There's hardly anything in it. And I still look at it now, I think, yeah, it's a lot fuller, but it's, I look back yeah. in two years. Yeah. And you're you know like, what, people. I get, I, get, I get loads of comments and you know what I absolutely appreciate it. I do feel like uh, really I feel really blessed because I feel like you know you know at the end of the day I feel like um I've not winged it I've not I've not fluked it I did my research before I even bought anything you know my tank yeah. and stuff like that and this that and the other yeah so I didn't jump into it at first and think I'm gonna I know what I'm doing and then this that and the other you know what I mean I'm the dog's bollocks because uh -huh. listen I learn and I make mistakes like everybody yeah and like you know and and some of the things that's gone wrong in my tank over the years, yeah, is like uh, I've I've come to the point where I thought I'm shutting my tank down, closing everything mm. up, selling everything. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, and it, because it does, it gets to you one point in one point in your reefing journey. No matter who's on this live stream or or who's watching, yeah, you'll come to the point where you'll go, I've had enough. Some will come around and you'll go, I've had enough of this. I'm packing yeah. up. You know what I mean? It's too much heartache. But then when you go over, <laughs> when, 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 but, when, but then when you get past it, yeah, you go, you know what? I've got past it, and you know what I mean. You do, and you get that second wing, second wing, and you're like, you know what? I can, why was I thinking that all the time, effort and money that I've put into it? You know what I mean? It's yeah. you, 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 you can succeed in it. You know what I mean? You can I really, do, really yeah. hope I don't get R sake. R sake, mate. So R -sake, that's what it is. I really don't want R sake. Tell you, mate. <laughs> Honestly, you do. I tell you, I tell you what, though, it's like, and obviously, it's like a lot of people are parents on here. It's like raising kids. What what Absolutely. works, you know, what works with raising one kid doesn't work with raising other kids, does it? So same with a reef tank. What works with someone's reef tank doesn't make work with others. It's kind of they're really kind of individual, aren't they? How they run. Yeah. But yeah. you've got the, you've got the kind of general like care guide. Absolutely. But then yeah. you've got all the little nuances of each tank, haven't you? Which is difficult. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it's you like I... to some extent, but you can't give them unless you yeah. know that tank and its parameters. It's hard to give. You know, quality advice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You, you, you know, you know, you know what, and this is what's good with our live stream, yeah. Is and we've all, we've we've said it in our private chats together, haven't we? You know what I mean? Yeah. And what we're doing is, and we say out to to the people that's watching and the people that don't watch but watch like after the live stream, yeah. Is like yeah. we're just as transparent as it comes. We're not here to say what you can use that this works and this that and the other. Yeah, this is the best mm. product. Blah blah blah. Yeah, we. We're not here for that. We just go on what we what we've used and what works for us. You know what I mean? We're not saying it's going to work for you, like you just said, Jay. Yeah, what works for you might not work for me, and vice versa. You know what I mean? Yeah, we just come out with it and say, listen, this is what I did. Yeah, you know, you can try it, but I'm not saying it's going to work. It worked for me, but it might not work for you. You know what I mean? I'd rather have what. <laughs> Reef tank, oh, mate. Tell mate, me about I, it. I feel for you. It's, raising kids is hard, but I think raising having a reef tank is also pretty challenging. Yeah. I think we have a bit of a so, rocky ride with it. I'm going to go back yep. up here a bit because there was a really good question coming in. It was actually one that I had talked about earlier on with you guys. So this question is, who's your favourite oh. Instagram reef at the minute? So I made a list before I came on here because I was going to ask this question of my kind of, not my, not my best tanks, but the top five kind of Instagram accounts that I'm, I'm kind of closely following just now. So I'll, I can start off with mine to give you a couple of minutes to think. 
I'm going to jump on because I'm going to add them if I haven't got them. <laughs> so, uh, and anybody else is in the comments, if you could put this in the comments as well and let us know who your kind of favourite Instagram account is. It doesn't have to be the best tank on Instagram, just your favourite one, one that you think everybody should have a look at. So, like I say, I'm going to start this off here with mines. Now, I've got a list of five, they're not in any order, but mines is Secret Reef is my first one, which is Matthias, uh, or Matthias, I think it is actually. Um, I don't know if he's in the chat tonight, but he's usually here, but his tank's amazing. He's got this big kind of ACAN rock that looks incredible. Um, so Secret Reef's the first one for me. Second one is Coral Fish Zoa. Now, his tank's quite a basic, kind of simple tank, but the, that tank is absolutely stunning. Have I just took that one off your list too, Jay? Oh, mate, that was one of mine. <laughs> so third one on my list is Take a Break, Have a Kit Kat. Now, that's a girl called Kat, and her tank, it looks amazing. Really, really nice. Um, that's the third one on my list. The fourth one is, I think they were in the chat, well, actually, actually they're in the chat because this was the question, is actually Coral Reef Queens. That's one of my favourite tanks just now on Instagram. So that's the fourth one. And the fifth one is Ian's Reef. So that's the kind of five that I'm kind of ah, following yeah. just now. Um, that, that's the five that I'm kind of think are up there just now anyway. So yeah, those are the ones. If you don't have a look at those ones, then definitely have a look at them um and check them all out so that's that's kind of my five what about you guys well you've oh. just said all mine yeah <laughs> <laughs> you just nicked all my five i'm lucky that's okay you can have the same ones mate that's fine yeah i know i've got uh, you do your stick you do yours me right yeah, well, go for it, mate. right well i've just briefly looked but i know i know i know what i'm gonna go for anyway because uh yeah I, I i every time they always flag up and i love them so the first one i'm gonna go for is her Nano's Reef, and she's an American, oh, yeah. yeah, fantastic, just I love Escape, you know, an Escape in the tank, it's just an absolute fantastic mixed reef, it's just a stunning yeah. tank, definitely check her out, she's an American, um, does loads of water changes, and it's definitely a tank to look at, you know what I mean, then the second tank is what you said, is is Ian's Reef, absolutely love his tank, I, lo I love, uh, from his Zoas, and his new aquaforest tank, you know what I mean? It's just absolutely perfect, you know what I mean? In, in yeah. every sense for me, that is like a perfect tank, That you know what I mean, mm. in that sense. Uh, my third one is going to be Ben's Reef. Have you seen yeah. him? Ben's Reef. Yeah. yeah, check him out. Ben's Reef 8. That's another cracking tank, you know what I mean? Mixed Reef. And I think mm. he, um, I'm not sure whether he actually sells frags. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, but definitely, definitely check his tank out. Another uh, one of them who's on this tank, and that is Coral Reef Queen. Absolutely love her tank. You know what I mean? Yeah. Blown away. Torches, frog spawns. You know, not 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 SPS. Not many SPS or not that I know of anyway. Um, it's more like a, a an LPS softy tank. You know what I mean? But blown away. Love that tank. And then uh, last, but by all means, is Reef Dock. I just think his tank is just mm -hmm. like my dream. My dream SPS tank, if I ever had a tank where it's just SPS would be something like his. Just the colour that he gets out of his tank is just incredible. So for me, yeah. those are those are the ones that that that's what I want my SPS to look like. You know, his colour on his tank is just like incredible. So that they're my five they're my five, that's for sure. Oh, nice one. Some good so ones here, mate, definitely. A lot of those I also agree with. Um but I've got a few additions. Well, Coral, Coral Reef Zoe is my favourite. That's my absolute favourite tank. Just yeah. the escape and the coloration yeah. on, on that. And, the, and the, just the, how blue the water is. It just looks stunning. So Coral Reef Zoe is my favourite tank on, on Instagram. Uh, mm. Others that I really like, um, Reef Rex. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. W, yeah. Oh, my God. He's got so yeah, many see. corals packed into it. It's like, a, is it a 300 or a 250? Yeah, I think it's and a 250, isn't it? Yeah, all his photographs are under under blues. But yeah, they're yeah. just like it's like a nightclub in that. Yeah, they just pop. Yeah, they just pop, don't they? Yeah, there is. Seen that. and and apparently, I mean, I don't know because um, but apparently, he hasn't spent a lot of money on corals. He, he buys kind of cheaperish corals, but ones with color. You know, like your mushrooms and your zoas and stuff. Yeah, um, yeah, really good. Um, I really like Books Reefer. He's oh, not. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, he's got two nanos, and obviously I'm 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 flying the flag for the nanos. Uh, he's got yeah. two nanos, and um, he's got some beautiful corals, and I I like him just because he's down to earth. He's a good guy. Uh, yeah. so, um, who else was there? 
take a take a break as well. Take a break. Oh, take it. Yeah, that Kit Kat one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, one. yeah. 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 The you angle she gets on a on a reef looks. It's like side view of the reef, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 You know what? There's, there's that many. There's that many, yeah. mate. You can go on and on and on. I mean, you know what? You could just carry on and on and on, couldn't you? You know what I mean? There's that mm. many. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And who else oh. was it? I, I I quite like An Andy B. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give him a shout Ooh. out, Andy Boyle, because uh, he's trying to set up his tank. He lost his job. Um, oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, Adam, Boyle, to... it, Adam, Adam Boyle, Boyle, yeah. Adam Boyle, yeah. yeah Adam yeah, Boyle has yeah. been trying to set his tank up. He must have been waiting, no joke, about eight months. He's buying bits and bits and bits. Yeah. And this week, I saw it with water in it and escape and lights, and I was like, I was made up for him because he's, he's yeah. waited so long, and he's obviously got there in the end. So that was yeah. more of a, a bit of a story one, really. Um, but, yeah, him as well. But there's so many. Yeah, so many, a, and a lot of people in this chat as well. You know, got there's a question here from Jimmy Q asking, no chance of getting Reefstock in a live. So, Reefstock was on a live, he joined us. Yeah. Um, it was on a full episode actually, that would have been a couple of months back, I think, maybe or a month yeah. or so ago. Um, Probably. brilliant episode, and I think we'll have Reefstock back again soon. So, yeah, Reefstock was great. on, and he was he was really good actually. So, yeah, if you haven't yeah. seen that one, you'll be able to check that one out anyway. I think it was on Paul's channel, was it not? Yeah, it was on polls, yeah. 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 So you yeah, can we're trying to get him back out. We're, we'll try and get him back on out at some point as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely that would be great. The so yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of good a lot of good names in there for um following on Instagram. So if anybody doesn't follow them, then go and have a look and see yeah. um all the different accounts and yeah, they're absolutely stunning. I mean, I, I can literally spend hours and hours trawling yeah. through Instagram just looking at all the different tanks in there and there's so much for you know every single thing you think about it, somebody's done it and they all look stunning in their own way yeah of course absolutely and like you said like you said the good, but you know the good thing with like with with this hobby yeah is no no nobody's tank is exactly the same do you know what i mean we all have yeah. a different scape we all have like ah uh, you know the, the the corals set differently you know we all have it you know we all run different like you know equipment every everybody is totally different you know what i mean it's like and that's what I love about this hobby because what I learn, even though listen, I am I am a, I am a beginner. I'm a beginner in this hobby. You know what I mean? Yeah. These guys who've been in the hobby 25, 30, 40 years, longer than I've been alive, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they say they're still learning, they're still learning about things. So so for me, yeah, it's just a learning curve over and over and over again. Am I gonna experiment? Yeah. Am I gonna try different things? Yeah, probably. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It might not work out, but at least I can say well, at least I've tried, do you know what I mean? And stuff like that. And then yeah. pass it on, and then that's all you can do. That's what that's what we're yeah. here for to help people out or I try mean, the best. Instagram's great to see tanks around the world as well. And I think yeah. and I don't know if I'm a bit biased, but I think the I think English, well, the UK tanks, you know, they're standing up well against the Germans, the Australians, the you know, the Americans. They, there's some really good tanks in the UK now, isn't there? I yeah, think definitely. Yeah. Stunning, yeah. It's stunning tanks there. I mean, not that there's a uh, you know competition or anything there, but. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like the Euros, isn't it? Who'd win that, eh? That's the next yeah. competition, rather than the YouTube channels. Which country's got the best uh, reef tanks? Well, what about yeah. um, reef stocks competition that he ran there? Did you well, see that? that. Yeah, it was that's, a cracker, wasn't it? it? Yeah, that was brilliant. I actually really enjoyed seeing that every day. You know, who was winning, who was going through, and yeah. hats off to, to Parker's reef. He deserved to win that. To be fair, I mean, his, his he won in the end, didn't off. he? Yeah, and yeah. to beat DRS, oh, I think that's that's something to say. So. Yeah, he deserved that, to be honest. I think it's nice to get somebody who's a one-man band, as it were, who, yeah. um, who wins. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, to beat BRS TV, I'm not being funny, but I would be popping champagne and dancing around the streets if you won that. I mean, oh, yeah. that's such a good achievement, such a good accolade. Mm -hmm. Did you Channel watch the um, BRS TV video on their warehouse? I think you know we discussed that the week there, but did you watch no, that I one? Oh man, that's some setup they've got to be honest with you. Really, really impressive. Who's the, who's that, Ross? DRS. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Flipping it. That's just like that. I, I don't know. That's like my lottery <laughs> dream tank. You know, things like that, mate. It's just like insane. You know, when you see things like that, I just, I just get blown away. There's a guy. There's a guy. Um, let me see if I can bring him up. Is it? Is something sad? 
something Sadlow. Adam is it Adam Sadlow? Not the not not the actor, but he's right. an American guy, yeah. And his tank, he's built it in. I mean, he's, he's an American chap, yeah. And he yeah. lives in this huge, like, multi-million pound mansion type thing, yeah. Um, mm. And and if you have a look at his tank, just got. Let me see if I can find him. His tank is absolutely massive. His skimmer, his skimmers, he's got two skimmers, and they're eight foot tall. That's the size of what our biggest tanks are. That's in the back room, mate. Yeah, it's like it's like yeah. a fat bit. It's like something you'd use in your distillery or something there, Ross. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's <laughs> it's just it's just absolutely. Let me see if I can bring it up. Um, it's it's tank. It's just mind boggling, mate. Sad no, loss. Sad I'll show if I can and get what's it. In this, what's in the BRS warehouse? Is it just different tanks set up? No, so it's not the tanks, mate. It's just run. They run through the warehouse and show you how basically all the items come in from receiving through the packaging, shipping, how they do it all, how they pick all the orders and that. And it's actually, I think I sat and watched the video for about half an hour and I was fascinated by it. It was really, yeah, yeah. you know, it's some setup they've got that, that just, it's impressive to see, you know, it's such a big outfit over there, obviously, compared to, you know, we've got our local fish shops and it's a small setup, whereas their ones are insane. Got it, Steve? No, fucking try to find yeah. them. <laughs> you know. Leave so it with me. The, there He's was got a the comedian actor up. Adam Sandler keeps popping yeah. up every time he googles it. Andrew, <laughs> Andrew, Andrew Sadler, Andrew oh. Sadler. Ah. Yeah, ah. let me see. Let me see. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll see if I can get the video up. Oh yeah, someone's put that in the comments. It's Andrew Sadler. Yeah. Ah, oh, I've seen that, mate. Yeah, that's incredible. What? Look at that. Like sea life center. Where's put, his corals? Put it on the put it on the on the one screen, Ross. Two seconds, mate. I'll do that. Has he got corals? Is it? There you go. Oh yeah. That is unreal. There must be yeah. hundreds of fish in there. Yeah. Look at all wow. those yellow tongues. I want some of those yellow tongues. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them all, mate. What the hell is that about? How does he know if he's lost one? Well, I don't, I don't think Jesus. it's going to spike your nitrates up that much, mate. I know. <laughs> Imagine your itinerary look, on that tank. Look at that. They have, they have, they have divers, scuba divers that go in. What? To clean it. Dive from the sandbed. Yeah. Well, yeah. You want to do a water change on that one, mate? Mate, that is, that is crazy. Isn't it? He's starting to add some coral. I think it's not he's, my uh, favourite tank, though. My favourite tank is that one on Sea Friendly Reef. I think on one of the videos, I think he said that he's going to get. Um, he was getting something like. I mean, look at the look at the fish all feeding on it now. Oh yeah. Oh my god. That's all those yellow tanks. It's probably got about <laughs> two million quid worth. That's why there's none left. He's got them all in there. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. I, I say I say we out him, mate. We need to go and get. If we chuck all them back in the sea. The Hawaiian band's over. <laughs> <laughs> that that is like one of the craziest tanks I've ever seen in my life, mate. It's just like definitely check him out, Andrew Sadler's seventeen thousand. I don't know if that's gallons or liters. I think I'm assuming it's going to be liters actually. Seventeen thousand. Wonder what the daily liters. running cost of that is. Oh, I think it oh. could be gallons, Steve, because Algae Warrior has just put here saying that he's got a 15,000 gallon storage under his house. 15,000 gallon? Oh my God. Yeah, it must be 17,000 gallons then. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> there, there. There's, that is there's a valid point there. Imagine getting a velvet outbreak in that bad boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're ready for that, yeah, but, yeah, but, but, yeah, but in his back, in his back room or the equivalent of our sumps, yeah? He's actually got, like, quarantine tanks that are the size of, like, mini houses and all that, mate. It's just yeah. stupid, you know, when he quarantines, because it, 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 you've got to get over and watch his channel. Watch his channel, it's just... Yeah, I was blown away. In fact, it come to the point where I was thinking, I can't believe what I'm watching here. This is just insane. Mm. You know, the See, size of it. My, that's my favourite. If I could have any tank in the world... Oh, yeah, the one... Oh, oh, yeah. Came, actually, but... That there oh, yeah. is... Just unreal. Sea yeah, friendly reef for tip. Sea friendly reef, yeah. yeah, he did it. He's done a few tours in one, hasn't he? The German, the German, it's a German yeah. house, that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, no. I think it's that's 4,000 litre. Yeah, that's incredible. That's incredible. I mean, yeah. I'd be, you know what, though? I'd be frightened to death of that being in the middle of my living room, though, mate. Yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? 
it's just stunning. Like it's these, are, these are these are what dreams are made of. That sort of stuff, you know, things like that. That's just like. Boys, that's what we've got to aim for, you see. You can't just... Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Them a little... Look, oh, look at that. Blown away, that's mate. Wow. Wow. Right there, mate. That's what I need is. to buy a house before I could buy that, though. I ain't got a house big enough. I think I'm you'd like, have to build I'm a house like, for I'm like you, Steve. I'm in a small house. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's just like... Yeah. Oh, you have to have a stump room as well, look. Yeah. That's, yeah. When, that's when you've made it, when you've got a sump yeah. room. Yeah, a sump room. <laughs> You know, you know, you know. If I had that sump room, though, I, my missus would never see me. You know what I mean, mate? She would never, she, she would never see me. The, or if if she needed to see me, the kid or the kids needed. Where's your dad? Oh, he's in the sump room. Or you know yeah. what I mean? That's what they're like. You, you would never see me, mate. I'd just be in there all the time. So, you know, that there for me though is if you had won the lottery, you would go and build a house, but you would yeah, literally you would, build the house around the aquarium. You I, would say, right, I've said that. Have. Here's, yeah, I've always I've said. I've said this to my missus, yeah, and you can ask her, oh, one of these days I'll bring her on the chat and chat and I'll say to her, and I've said to her, if I ever if I'm ever lucky that I win the national lottery, yeah, my I, my dream is always to build my own home. I've always wanted to build my own home, yeah. So I've said mm -hmm. and I said, if that is the case, my house will be getting built around my tank. That's what is gonna mm -hmm. happen. It'll be foundations, yeah, and then it'll be sump room below the foundation, yeah, underneath. The, underneath yeah, the ground, yeah, yeah. and then I'd be pumping the water upwards, you know what I mean, into the tank. Yeah. And it'd be so much stupid, mate. It'd be like, it'd be, it, well, it'd be crazy. Well, it would be 100 more. grand, you know, like, you'd have about 1500 grand, wouldn't it? Easily, F 15 or 100,000 for the whole lot, 50, 50k. Oh, oh, yeah, you'd be way above that, way above that, mate. Way, 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 way above. Way. Yeah. Oh yeah. You, you, well, you know, you know that you know that footballer that um, what's he called? The uh, the guy who used to drive around in the pink car and all. No offense against people driving around in pink cars and all that. The footballer, yeah. The, <laughs> the man, the Man City playoff, yeah. He had he had um, he had a, a seventy five thousand pounds fish tank in his house, mate. And you want mm. to see the size of that one? Um, Stevie Island, Stephen Island, he was called. Yeah, check him oh, out. Yeah, yeah. Stephen, Stephen Island, yeah, the Man City, yeah. the ex Man City player, yeah. He, he had a, a, a tank in his in his old Cheshire mansion, and obviously he sold his mansion when he left. City and his house yeah. was up, and it, and I and I clicked on and I looked to see because it gave you the link to see what the house was, and it was going for like two point two million, and it went comes with a free aquarium and like and a big green <laughs> aquarium and I'm looking and it's a seventy five thousand pot. I'm like I'm like ah, please win a lot of it. Euro millions. Oh, it's huge, right? Blackwell Reef said there though, mate, you'd just be sat there with Sally cuddling your eight foot skimmer, that'd be all you're doing. <laughs> yes, sir. Now we're on with that, mate. What's, what's it? Is that a bit of jealousy I see that? Or what Ross <laughs> Is that a bit of jealousy that? Yeah. I think he's hey, wanting Sally, hey. mate. That's what it is. You should pimp her he, out. He can he can come round the cuddle the other skimmer because I'm gonna have to run two eight eight foot skimmers on the one tank that I'd have to have, mate. That's for sure. You know what I mean? Nice. <laughs> There's a valid point for practical reefer. The glass itself might be that money. You'd have to have silly thickness glass. I wonder what thickness that glass is in that big tank. Oh. Oh, what? Did you ever hear? Did you ever hear of that multi-millionaire in Scotland, Ross? And he built he built that cylindrical that cylindrical um, tank. It was in it's in between his actual staircase of his tank. Yeah. No. So the staircase the staircase went round like that, like a swirl. Yeah. And this and the the aquarium was was dropped in was dropped in oh, between yeah. the staircase. Yeah. And then they built the roof on top of it, like so. Obviously, it was built so they put the tank and everything in before they could put the roof in because they hoisted mm -hmm. it in and all that. And it blew up. The tank actually blew up, mate. Split and it ruined. It ruined all his house, like a seven million pound, six million pound house or something, because all the water. But it's blew up in the tank. Let me see if I can bring. Let me see if I can bring you up. It was in, it was in Scotland, some Scottish businessman. It was who had his tank yeah. blew up. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, oh, it, it was crazy. Mate. Mean, that, mate, you don't that... know, Ross, if he's in Scotland. Yeah, there's so only a small place, mate. There's only maybe five or six of us here, so it's five quite small. A few, five or six. In fact, most of them are on this chat, I think. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so yeah, there was, was a comment. Um, when you go, Steve, did you find it? No, we just didn't find it. Now it was definitely in Scotland. It was a, it was a Scottish. It was definitely. I'm sure it was a Scottish businessman who um, mm. his tank blew out. Um, let me see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, carry on, Ross, and I'll see if I can find it. Yes, there's a comment further back up there. Um, I'm just going to see if I can see it. It was from Neil Smith that I had put on the screen. Give me two seconds until I can hopefully find it. 
Yeah, here it is. Um, feel sorry for Neil Houdini's looking in bad shape in his last uh, video. Now, I did watch yeah. Neil's last video and I felt quite sorry for him. I think he's going through a phase where he's just lost interest in the tank and he's, he's kind of, you know, a lot's going on in his life just now. He's had a quite a busy yeah. time. He's getting married I and so on. And I think he's just lost that enthusiasm for it. So, fingers crossed, Neil comes back again and, you know, the tank's yeah. all right and everything's good. But um, I didn't actually notice Houdini was looking in bad shape, but fingers crossed everything's all right with that one. And, he is back again because Neil was a great guy. I like watching his videos. He's really good. So I hope he is I, back. I, I, I did watch his last program, his last video actually, and uh, yeah, his little fishy. They don't know whether it was like an infection, you know, on his tail, or whether mm. it was actually being eaten alive. You know what I mean? He didn't actually know. Um, but over the over the like the few days, it started to like go worse and worse and worse. But I think he had, he said he said he's seen it go under the cave, like in this cave, and it's not mm. come out. So he reckons it's passed away now. But yeah. It's pretty good, yeah, okay. really, you know, for him. I felt dead gutted for him. You know what I mean? It's uh, and not only that, that's the emblem. That's the emblem of his, uh, mm. of his, of his, you know, of his channel and stuff in it. I you know, know what I mean? Blue yeah. spotted uh, jawfish. You know what mm. I mean? So yeah, he's that's definitely one of the, ni he's one of the nicest guys in this hobby. Absolutely, that video, yeah. That it's just heartbreaking, isn't it? I mean, I, I wanted, I wanted a jawfish, um, but they just, they just seem too difficult to keep in a reef tank. I know he says that at the end of his video. Um, mm -hmm. You know they're very difficult to keep because they're quite they like lower temperatures, don't they, than, than the actual reef tanks run at. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay. But I was heartbroken for him, and yeah. um, I, I say I love his channel. And I, but I, I do think that people go through those phases where you kind of you're really into it and you're kind of spending a load of money. Then you kind of okay, just let it tick over for a bit, and then I do think it has that kind of effect on you as well. Mm -hmm. Well, he's he's there's a comment here saying um, he's starting a new tank in his office. I think that's relating to see the big massive tank you showed us that was in the middle of the guy's room. The, the first one. No, I've not heard about that now. So I'm not sure who it's referring to, but starting a new tank. If it is that guy with a massive tank in his living room, then that's going to be impressive to see what his office one's like. Mm. Um, so uh, he's commented up saying... This is a video that gives a tour of system and house. Now, you can't actually put links on the chat here. So, I'm assuming he's put a link in the chat, but you can't do that. So, I think we probably just need to go to his channel and have a look. But I don't even know. I think somebody did put his name in the channel earlier. Uh, Andrew Sandler is talking about, yeah. So, Andrew Sandler's putting a new tank in his office, and there's a video that gives a tour of his system in his house. So, oh yeah, that'll be a. Uh, that'll be an interesting one anyway to see that, that's for sure. I mean, I, I couldn't have two tanks, I don't think. That's another debate, isn't it, really? Mm. But I, Paul has three tanks. I don't know how he does it, if I'm being truthful. How does he do it? He all must the, be a full day's maintenance on that every maintenance week. Maintenance and all the kind of, kind of ordering of stuff and stocking and... I don't. I mean, a lot. I know there's a few people in this chat who, who run multiple tanks, but yeah. I don't think he could do it. It's hard work, I mean... Even when I had the freshwater tanks, and there was one point, I think I was up to 16 or 17 tanks when I was doing the breeding. And with the freshwater tanks, I mean, that was literally, so I was working offshore at the time, so I was home for like two, three weeks at a time. And mm -hmm. even at that point, you were spending two, sometimes three days just doing maintenance on the tanks, and it was constant. Yeah. And that was the point when I thought, no, I, this is enough. So you, just, you have to scale down eventually. You can't keep going with more and more and more tanks. So even just now, I mean, I've still got the freshwater tank downstairs, I've got the reef tank, the frog tank behind me, and I've got the little crab tank, and that is way more than enough. I mean, the crab yeah. tank literally don't. All I do with the crab tank is the water that I'm taking out of this little nano tank here. I just yeah. put that into the crab tank and take some out of the crab tank. So it, it, it's pretty easy to be honest, but it's just a crab that's in that tank, so I don't need to worry about that. Can't find it. Yeah, I, I'll have a look at that, Steve, and see if I can yeah, find it. Yeah, I can't it find it. It's definitely in it, mate, because I, I remember reading it, and I was like, I showed my missus, and my missus was like, "There's no chance." You won the lottery a week getting a tank that big. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not you sure if this been... one that Rudra's talking about, if you guys want to go on a roof tank in the basement, check out the wild Willowers, whatever that is. Willow. Now, I oh, think this is the one yeah, where the guy, he almost has like a skylight on the roof of his kind of room that it's in, and that's a hatch that lifts up and he dives in the tank that way. And he's got like a little right. living room set up that you can sit in a couple of chairs and look at the tank. Now, I think that's the one that, Rudra's talking about here, and if it is, then it is. It's an impressive tank, to be honest. 
on. Cool. Thanks for it, Rudra. Thanks for that. I'm not subscribed to this guy. I have now though. If it's his one, I think it's the one where he's got like a kind of he's got two. Oh my god, he's striking! How's how's he done that? It's like it's a impressive. Snow. Oh no! Sorry, that's the one that you can see from outside the house, outside. isn't it? So it's got like a glass panel outside the house. Yeah. 120 people have put thumbs down. How can you not like that? Jealousy, I mean, yeah, mate, that's you can all see that it is. from the outside, and it's in snow. Yeah. That is. Crazy. I think he's. If I'm not mistaken, he's got a hot tub or something that sits outside so he can sit in the hot tub and look at the tank. I think that's Here it is, look. one of the videos I watched. Look Hang on, I'm just wow. going to put you on uh, the third one too. That's crazy, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen, oh, I've seen, seen that. The yeah, they, they show, they're showing you building it and all that, didn't they? From yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah, it's great. Yeah, I've seen that one. That is crazy, that. That, that's been one where you build the house around the tank. That's what that one is. Yeah. I think yeah. that's where it's done best, isn't it, really? When you build it around... You have yeah. it, you have it, you have your house planned around the tank, really. No, that's where, we do, that's where we're going wrong, I think, boys. <laughs> that that would be one for Sea Friendly Reef to feature, wouldn't it? I know, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm, follow, I'm, following, uh, I'm following that now on YouTube. Yeah, that is a good one to watch, to be honest. I tell you, when I was watching the other day, was it was a guy that was building ponds in people's back gardens in America, Joe. Somebody. There, there we go. Got it. Hang on, Steve. I'll put you on full screen just now. Fish tank. Fish tank. That's the first boss, Steve. Steve, Steve Malcolm. Malcolm. Yeah, he's, he had a fifty-foot aquarium, a cylindrical aquarium. Yeah, and it blew up, and it was in his nine million pound pad, and it blew up completely. Blew up. There's is. Here's his house. He had it in between his staircase, look. Oh, Jesus. wow. I, I'm just going to throw this out there and say, how is he affording that just running taxis? That's yeah, got to be a money laundering he, thing. <laughs> he's not just running I'm taxis, sorry, though, is he? That so is it, not it, just taxi fares that's paid for that. That is not. I mean, taxi I've been ripped off in a taxi before, but... Uh, oh, it was, uh, him, it was him that ripped me off as well. <laughs> 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 yeah, so his tank, his tank actually blew up. He had a cylindrical tank, yeah, built in between his staircase, yeah, and it actually blew out. It, it blew out. Now, how the hell a, an acrylic tank like that blows out, you know? It, I mean, I wouldn't even like to imagine the thickness of it. Not only the thickness, but, like, the amount of a de like the amount of like adhesive that it would have been on it, mate, would have been like incredible. So, oh, but yeah. you know what? Though it comes to that point where we all talk about it. You know, Red Sea aquariums are crap because they blow out. This that and the other are crap because they blow out. Yeah, listen, any aquarium. This guy's one point five million pound aquarium, <laughs> mate, blew out. Yeah. So our 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 cheap tanks, yeah, cheaper tanks compared to his tank, yeah. If hmm. if it's if it's like one point five million pound tank can blow, yeah, then ours could certainly blow kite. So it comes to yeah. the it comes to that point where you know at the end of the day anything can happen in this hobby. This is why we love it. You know what I mean? I think Julie's hit the nail on the head there with that comment though, saying I think most of us have tanks that suit our lifestyle. That's that's spot Absolutely. on. That's that's what you should yeah. do. These people really? are running massive tanks that can't really manage to do them. I mean, have a yeah. tank that suits your lifestyle, and that's it. It makes it so much easier. Absolutely, See, your tank looks extremely good tonight, mate. Yeah, mate. I just my um my tail spot gobies. Uh, no, my my tail spot blennies just started swimming round. I don't know if you can see him. It's just behind yeah, that torch at the top. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's just up here. He doesn't. He swims once an hour, something like that. Once every. He comes out at feeding time, but he's just started okay. swimming about again. Looking looking great that now, old Jay. Got to admit, mate. Really nice. Yeah, it's taking mm -hmm. shape. It's how's your um? How's your uh, finger looking? Your um. What? Your, uh, oh, your chalice, your rainbow chalice. Yeah, it's down here at the moment. Oh. It's it. Oh, it's there. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. looking nice that now, isn't it? Yes, the, the SPS is doing all right as well. You yeah. That SPS that I got from Signature Frags, that's doing well. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's coloring up, it's coloring up nicely. I and, put uh, my name, I put my name down on a Pikachu from him. So, uh, yeah. It, I, know, I know he's not in the stream today. So, yeah, but, um, that. but I've had to, I've had to add me other power head. So you see, there's what there's two power heads back in. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So I had, I've had a bit of an algae outbreak, so I've got a tiny bit of turf algae, I had a bit of cyano, and I've got a bit of hair algae. Right. And I, and I, so I've had to increase the flow a little bit because it's just not with one with one um, tunsy. There's not enough variation in the flow. 
So I was yeah, getting yeah. some yeah. dead spots. Around the back of the scape, I was getting some dead spots. Yeah. Which is not a problem, a little bit of algae, but it was kind of, it was starting to take hold in certain bits. So I've, I've added my, um, I've added my, my uh, second power head again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, hopefully that's, hopefully that's doing the trick, but... Well, how, how, how was you, really how's, how's, how's like your SPS and all that? Uh, not your SPS, sorry. How was your, um, your filly is adapted to flow because usually they curl up, don't they? You know, they yeah, get so that's, that's why a little, that's why the torches are a little bit in still. Because right. I, I only put it in uh, about four hours ago. So that's why the torches are still a little bit. But what I'm going to yeah. do is I'm going to have it on for a couple of hours a day, then switch yeah. it off again. Are you yeah. going to put it on a timer or something? Time and, you know what? And I need I need to put on a timer. Do you know, I bought this one here, this j -Boat. It's about 30 quid, which is brilliant. But I need yeah. I need one that I can time, like you say, that comes on yeah. for two hours or three hours a day and then goes off just for the get, rest of the day. Just get a yeah, normal get a timer from Amazon for 9 99 mate. That's all you got to do. You know what I mean? And, and run it that, that way. That's what I do. Get the Nero yeah. 3, too. That's the one that I I've want got. A Nero, I want a Nero 3, really, I think. Yeah. 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 Oh, the Nero, yeah. 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 Jay Reef King's asking here, are you running the XR15 Blue or Pro? I'm running the Blue. I bought oh. I bought the Blue because apparently that helps with coral growth. So I, I run the Blue. Okay. Um, and then Rudra's asking how you clean the back glass. Any specific tools you recommend? Oh, um, so I use... I've got an extendable algae scraper. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I just zoom out a little bit so you can see the full thing. Yeah. Sorry. So I, I think it was just on Amazon. Um, mm -hmm. On Amazon, it's kind of extendable, so I don't have to put the hand in. Yeah. Have it down. And that does, so, that does the back wall. So I made sure that my skate wasn't pressed against the back wall, so I could still get down the back of it. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's what it is. So on um, that one, Jay, what I done was I actually went and bought the flipper scraper. I don't know if you've seen that. So that's the. Oh, I haven't that seen that, mate. No, I haven't but seen I knew that. Yeah, I've so I got it from Crack Cracking Corals. Managed to get them. Now you usually only get them in America, but Cracking Corals managed to get them over here. So it's got the pad on the back for doing, you know, like any kind of if you want to use like a kind of felt pad as such. But oh, the thing yeah. I like about it is this bit here um, actually comes out, and that is just a little blade. Now you can replace that with a credit card. So you just oh. put the credit card in there, um, slide that in there, and then that use that to scrape the glass. Now, this is the nano version, obviously, so it's tiny, but you do get bigger ones. Um, and honestly, this is fantastic. I mean, I know it's... Yeah, well, I, might, I, might, I, might, I, might, I might get that and use my missus' credit cards and hopefully they'll snap it and stop her using them. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's a cracking idea, isn't it? Wow, yeah, that's yeah so... I like that. Cracking Corals was the one that got them. Um, I've been trying to get them for ages, but they're only in America. And I even contacted Flipper, and they weren't willing to send me one. I says, look, if I pay for the postage, will you send it? And they said no. So Cracking Corals managed to get them. So I, I got one off Cracking Corals. Now, I do you believe know it's not off them. I'm going up to Cracking Corals tomorrow, actually, because I've got to get a few bits and bobs. So um, I'm, yeah. I'm, you know what? I'll have a look, see if they've got any of them, actually. So you know what? Well, I definitely... They definitely did have them, mate. But whether he's still got... Yeah. I don't know how many he's got. And he's got all yeah. different sizes. This is the smallest one. Um, which is, is that, perfect for my tank, to be fair. But that is really good. Because I I bought one I bought one from Amazon. It was just like some Chinese, you know, aftermarket like thingy one from Amazon, and it, the reviews were good. But the blades, yeah, you can only use them like once because if you once you scrape it, you know, all the glass, glass, the you know, sometimes you get some algae which which is a bit tough to come off in it, and you you yeah. know, matter what you do, you can't get it off, yeah. And um, I, I, I fingered. So when you when you clean it, I rinse it under normal tap water, and then I mm. wipe it all down. And then, but then when I come to use it again, guarantee you, it starts to have a little bit of rust or something, like, you know, on it. Like, yeah, it, well, yeah. it looks like rust. I don't think it is rust, but I don't know. So I never use it, mate. But you go through that many blades, you know, the, the cheap things that come with it. Uh, yeah. But plast some plastic oh. like that, plastic credit card, that would be perfect. Yeah. Get one of them, mate, and you can just use you can use yeah. like a hotel room key, you can use anything, your IKEA card, yeah. anything you've got at all, your club card, whatever, just slots in there and you can use them, mate. So that's a great idea, that. Aye, I mean I, I got cracking to get with that and it's fantastic. So I, I'm gonna go, I'll go there hopefully. I've got some tomorrow. Well, there's a few folk in the chat saying they're buying them, mate, so you might need to hurry up. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go there. I'm living in stock at the moment in cracking, so we're all right. I don't think we'll sell eleven tonight, so yeah, yeah. 
all of these people watching the law law then i'll just to pee me off i know have you got any of them that say no they sold out all of them last night yeah, I, yeah. I, I, honestly i've been trying to get one for probably the best part of i don't know four or five months and i just couldn't get them he's only sell them in america so i don't know how don managed to get them but he's got them anyway so brilliant definitely worth yeah. getting mate the one, the one that I've got is resin. Is it resin? Um, uh, or Rustin? Oh yeah. Was that from Amazon, Jay? Was that one, or where was yeah, that? Yeah, that from? was from Amazon, and it's got interchangeable um, ends as well, so Ooh. you can uh, clip out, supposedly. Yeah, <laughs> clip, out, clip out the kind of. Um, oh yeah. Lost one and put the blade in and stuff like that. Does it come with it? Does it come with like a scraper for that comes yeah. with that you it comes can with three ends, with come, that? Yeah, it comes with a plastic end. Like yeah. it comes with this that's like um you know that yeah. the, washing, the washing pad, which I like that one. It's just a little bit Yeah, of like a brill like a brill pad type thing. That's, that's what I was trying to think of. And yeah, then yeah. The, uh, it comes with the razor blade as well. Right. I got it from Amazon this one. We know you don't do much washing up then, Jay. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> I, I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky. <laughs> well, just for a look there, there was a question in the chat asking how much they are. So I've had a look on Kraken's page, and the, the nano one which I've got was 19.95. The platinum 10 inch one's 19.95. The 18 inch one's 24.95, and the 28 inch one is 29.95. Which I would say is worth it all day long for them. They're really good. Yeah. And you know what? You know one thing is they're not going to rust, are they? You know what I mean? No. That's the main thing, isn't it? So it's going to no, be it's worth its weight. Plastic, mate. Yeah, it's worth its weight in gold, actually. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. I'm going to head up there tomorrow and see what they've got. I need a larger one because I try to keep my hand out of my tank as much as I can. You yeah. know what I mean? I don't really. I haven't put my hand in the tank for god ages. You know what I mean? So mm. try to keep it. Try to keep it out. Try to stick. Even when I'm cleaning. Well, I was going to save this from my, one of my videos, but. I might crack this out just now and show you my uh, solution for this. It? Just, just you uh, hang on a minute, mate. He's gonna crack so, out. I've oh, been yeah. watching. No, is, it past, yeah. is, it, is it past nine o'clock? He's got no. his only fins again. <laughs> I've got a feeling, Jake, that as soon as I tell you this one, you'll go straight on Amazon and sort this out for yourself. Right, so, on. I've been watching a channel on YouTube called The Sheep Game. And it's a Scottish guy who basically is a sheep farmer and does all the sheep farmer stuff. And he's fantastic. Really, really good. Absolutely not a David Reefing, but really good. And he had a solution. Confused here now. We're talking right, about you, marine tanks. <laughs> you'll, see, you'll see where I'm going in a second, mate. Right, so yeah, yeah. On this, I thought, hmm, that's a great idea. I could go with that. So when I was looking on it, I thought, I wonder if you can get these. So I went on Amazon, right? Give me two seconds till I, I sort this That's out right. here. This, I've, 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 got, I've got the suspense here enough for you. Yeah, yeah. So, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that right there is a lemon glove for lemon I know what sheep. it is. So you can stick that right in the sheep, and I thought, brilliant, I'll stick that in the tank. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Here we go. You know what? Hey, Job done. Inge ingenious, mate. Ingenious. <laughs> is that for when you get? Is that for when you get arse, mate? When you're reefing? Well, the thing is, you can now go elbow deep. In fact, you can go more than elbow, elbow deep. deep. <laughs> Here we go. There's a new T-shirt there, Ross. There's a new T-shirt. You know what, Ross? Let's go elbow deep. Elbow yeah. deep. But hey, Guys, you know what? Like, <laughs> me that's not a good idea. <laughs> I can't take oh you seriously that one, though. You know what? Hey, you know what, Ross? That is a 10 out of 10 for me, mate. Uh, you know I mean, you get a pack. What did you, what did you type in to get them? Lamin gloves. Lamin, Lamin gloves. gloves. <laughs> you know what? Game, I feel... I'm so glad I'm not a farmer. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, 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 against farmers. If any of you guys are farmers out there, well, yeah, but there's no chance. Mate. What's your post is saying? Because obviously, you ain't got any lambs. Well, <laughs> I probably know the worst thing that's ever been delivered to my house. Can, sure, can you sign for these gloves? <laughs> You're like, yeah, all right. You're like, have a good night, mate. See you later. <laughs> yeah, if anybody needs some, any lambing done, I'm your man. Any lambing, brilliant. Oh, that is a class one. 
It's a little bit sweaty in that, so we'll take that off. Oh, genuinely, yeah, though, that is a good idea. That is you know what? I thought it so, mate. That's a pearl of that, mate. And I actually thought that would be a good one for you, Jay. I thought you'd enjoy that because I know you're, yeah. uh, you have issues with keeping your hand out of the tank, so get yourself <laughs> some lambing gloves and away you go. Yeah. I just hope they come in discreet packaging. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's no lambs where I live. I know. That, so, is, um, yeah, that, that is brilliant. That's probably my, um, my all-time tip of the week, which came yeah. from watching the sheep game on YouTube and watching them delivering sheep and thinking, I don't know, I used for that glove. You know what? Ten out of ten for that, mate. Seriously, you know you what? Brought something new to the hobby. That's some, that's some, something, something you would never think about. You know what I mean? Yeah. I would never have thought of that. Never. It's because no, you well. don't watch cheap channels. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. Valid, valid point, Jay. Valid point. Yeah. Well, how did you get onto that? Was that like trouble sleeping, Ross, or something? You just thought I said this. No. If I tell you, mate, it'll be even worse than that. So actually, I watch a guy on YouTube. Now, there may be something in the comments seen this, but I watch a guy on YouTube called The Hoof GP who trims cows' feet. As terrible as that sounds, it is so addictive to watch. So I watched that and it linked onto this guy with the sheep and I thought, Ross, I'm going to give you the word of advice. You need to get out a little bit more, mate. You know what I mean? Hill <laughs> climbing or something like that or whatever, well, mate. Yeah, well, oh, come on. The reason behind uh, it is that at some point I do want my own farm. That's the end goal is to have a little oh, farm somewhere. Oh, so that's what I'm... Working what, towards. a coral farm? Well, <laughs> could do. Yeah. yeah. I don't a, know if anybody would be A coral farm in, that, in the, the highs of Scotland, mate. You'd be oh, rich. Oh, yeah. Tell you, mate, you'd be rich. I wouldn't be so rich because the money I'd spend on heating the tanks would cost me a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. I was going to say you could get you could get some solar panels, but you, you that won't be very good up there. But then again, though, yeah, wind, wind turbines would be perfect, mate. Because you get a lot of wind up there, so you be, you know, what I mean? you're <laughs> yeah. in there. So you do, you've got, yeah. to, got to look at things like that. That's uh, the thing. That, he was in scouts. He, he was in scouts. Ross was definitely. He's always prepared for everything. Yeah, I've been. I never went to scouts, mate. Not at all. See, I thought you were down for that. Nothing yeah. on the TV in Scotland. <laughs> 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 yeah, but they're free. They're definitely free they're, up there. They want to pay a big TV license. No, yeah. we well, you're supposed to pay TV license. Steve, um, Steve, Con Steve Connell is put a laughing face, laughing face. That's the yeah. hardest he's laughed all week. Uh, to Mate, I, I wasn't. That wasn't what I expected, to be honest. No, I, I, I was. No, I was. Ex no, I don't know what I was expecting actually. But it was. Uh, it was <laughs> she wanted to do with reefing, and I was like, and then a pair of sheep gloves come out, and I was like, no. <laughs> what? And then I could, but then you know what? I could see the logic behind it, and it's perfect. You know what? It's, it's exactly perfect right. Logic, yeah. it's perfect. Mm -hmm. that. You know what I mean? That, I imagine, it's easy, but I think it works. It does mate? It will, yeah, it will work. That's a good idea. But well, they don't imagine, have any. It doesn't have any powder or anything like that on it, does it? Or liquid? No, it's just oh, powder. Like, like, was it? Then it come lubed. <laughs> no, so you can lube it yourself, mate. But the problem is, you would need to watch what kind of lube you use in the tank. I dare say. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who's watching this stream and someone's walked in halfway through that bit, they'll be like, what the hell are you watching? Yeah, with, with Ross like that. <laughs> Three blokes and one with a massive glove on. <laughs> the, thing, the thing is, though, I don't know if anybody's noticed, but it's every time Paul's not on the stream, we just end up taking things to the gutter or getting oh. stuck <laughs> you know? Paul, Paul's good at keeping it on track, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's the father player. figure that we're missing from the stream. Yeah, That's we, what it is. Yeah, yeah. Need him on. Otherwise, we just we, go we're, AWOL. We're like the juveniles that's been let out at the weekend. That's what we're like, isn't it? Oh. You know what I mean? It's like. Laughter's the best medicine. That is the Absolutely. best medicine. So, there's what the I said. Great, but do you then have to wash the shoulder length it. gloves or is it disposable? So, these are disposable. But unless you're sticking them up a sheep, I dare say you could use them again. So, if you're using them in your reef tank, you could probably use them again. If you're sticking them in sheep, <laughs> I would recommend probably not to use them again. I certainly you know wouldn't what? be sticking them in the tank after sticking them in a sheep, that's for sure. We're laughing, right? But TMC will be watching this and you'll see there'll be TMC reefing yeah. out. They'll I, be the same thing, but they'll I just be yeah. yeah. packaged on. Yeah, tell you. Know what? I bet they will. Yeah, get out yeah. quick, Ross. Bearded reef gloves. Yeah, painting it, paint it, Ross. Painting it. Yeah, bearded <laughs> reef. 
Bearded Reef, reefing gloves. That's what you want to put me. If you want to, go to beardedreef.com. We pick them up. Ten <laughs> pound a pack. Well, there was somebody actually said that, that I should do a T-shirt with what was it? Um, ribs for the tank's pleasure. There we go. Ribs for the tank's this is going down the wrong alley. This is this chat. We need to get back. Where's Paul? Get Paul on quick. Although Scott's come up with a thing here saying taking the mick out of the Highlanders will hunt them down. Now, I would agree with him on that one, but we all know I how that battle went. I'm not getting any Highlanders. I've got the utmost respect. Absolutely. Hey, yeah, definitely. Yeah, mate, trust me, you don't want loads of Highlanders chasing you down with those gloves on. I know where they've been. <laughs> mate, I would run fast. <laughs> oh god no you haven't used him yet Raph. no you've not, had a, you've not had him in there yet yeah i used him i used it this week actually i had um for some reason one of the corals so i've got that um i don't know remember the two red mushrooms that i got so i've got yeah. one of them sitting on the sand bed and something whether it was a conch or whatever had knocked that over so i thought i'm gonna get the glove out so uh, <laughs> the glove out. got the glove out went elbow deep settled it back in again <laughs> pulled out I mean, I pulled out, deep no... in your tank, that's, a, that's an achievement there. I was at a slight angle, mate, that's what it was. Oh, right, around, cool. yeah. Aye. So, uh, yeah, and even when you pull out, there's no mess, mate. It's just all, it's all contained within it, so it's great. No, it's good. Really good, because it's hard to keep your hand out, definitely. Well, there you go. There's your solution. Get on Amazon. Lamin gloves. I think they're only about a fiver, if I mind, for 50 of them, so. Yeah. Oh. And if anybody's still watching that hasn't been... Absolutely mentally scarred with that, then congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> at, the end, at the end of this, uh, there's, a, there's a counseling chat that you can ring up if you still need counseling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so that, that really goes. Um, that's so that's much, your tip of the day. Yeah, what's, your of the day tip? what's your tip, Steve? Have you got a tip for anybody? I'm not had a tip. No, I've not thought of a tip today, mate. No, no. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. I don't think we we could we could, I don't think me and you could bring up make, make up a tip as good as that one, mate. In no. Do you know what I mean? So no. I, I I think what we should do is like a tip of the a tip of the day every every time. Do you know what I mean? So every live stream. Yeah, every live stream. So like a tip of the day. What would your tip of the day be? Do you know what I mean? I know it might be difficult at some points, but. I hope Jay's oh. wife is in the next Ross B. <laughs> oh, she better not, mate. If you if you uh, if you talk to her with them gloves on, mate, we're in trouble. <laughs> Can't promise anything there, mate. Yeah, you you stay up north. Mm. Oh, you? There we go, Black Pearl's words words of wisdom tonight. <laughs> it's dreamed. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he <laughs> never fails to disappoint. I love his comments. Blackpool oh. Reef, get class at comments, honest. Yeah, oh, it's class. Mate. Class. class. Honestly, I God. think we need to get Blackpool Reef on one night, actually, just for oh, a yeah. comedy yeah. session. Definitely. Yeah, will he, will, he come on as, will he come on as a guest? Will yeah. He? We might get him on to do some stand up, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I reckon so. <laughs> I think yeah, if we do a, another open mic night, we can invite Black Pearl Reef on for a wee slot just to see if he's... Um, yeah, that'd be great, that. Absolutely. That. Yeah. Mm, so, so Jay, look. actually, I, I'm going to take this back to kind of semi-normal chat now. So, uh, semi-normal, right, OK. Let me just breathe yeah. in. <laughs> so I, I was actually going to ask you this earlier on the stream and just got way sidetracked, but yeah. how did you get on leaving the tank when you were away? Was everything all right? Did you have any issues? I take it everything... Yeah, I so I, I, only went away for, I went away for two, two nights. So it's only a short period of time, really. So yeah. I, I did. I did what Steve said, and just don't really feed them because fish can go what th three days, four days. Yeah. To be fair, he's right. They're still alive when I got back. See, yeah. so uh, hey, that's my that's my tip of the day. My tip <laughs> of the day. You don't need to feed your fish every day. Feed them every two days or three days. Keep your yeah. nutrients low. Keep your yeah. nutrients low, and your fish will still live. So that's what you got to think of. You know what? I think they looked a bit healthier as well for it. They were a bit more yeah. uh, nimble and move it, more active. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't feed them. Um, people in the chat said turn the skimmer off, so I turned the skimmer off. 
because <clears throat> I know you don't want to skim a, skim a Ross, and I was I was really worried no. about not having it on. But to be honest, I don't I don't really see a problem with it. You know, a few days mm-hmm. it was on, and then obviously. Did you- did your nutrients? Have you tested your nutrients, Jay? Yeah. Have you tested so, your nutrients um, when you come back? So, excuse me. I've had a bit of problem with algae, haven't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phosphates went to naught point um, one two ppm to so twelve, basically. Yeah. So, mm, yeah, a bit, a bit high to be honest. Yeah. My, nitrates, bit, are three, my nitrates are three and a half. Right, that's good. Uh, at the moment, and my phosphates are not point one two, so I've had to put some. I've put some rower phos in today. Yeah. Uh, at the back, yeah, yeah, done that. You no, know what though, Phos, like your nit- nitrates, that's perfect. That I, I think three that's perfect for, for most for most tanks. That three point yeah. five 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 three point five five. Yeah, I run mine. I run mine now about five to seven. Five to seven is the, that seems to be yeah. perfect. You know, you know there. Yeah, mm-hmm. but my phosphate. When I when I reduce my phosphates right down to like zero point zero three or zero point zero four, my tank my corals don't seem, you know, as puffy. They don't seem as colourful. Yeah. They don't see, they yeah. don't seem right yet. But then when I raise me out when it when I raise it up to about zero point one zero, so ten, yeah, 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 always, ten, yeah, yeah, it seems better for some reason. So for me, yeah, the lower it is, the worse it is for the tank. The medium yeah. side, yeah, it, it seems to be better. So. I tend to keep mine now about 0.10, so zip about 10, 10, on, 10. on my phosphate. Yeah, it seems to be right. But maybe that's the maybe that's all the way it's always been. And then when I tried to reduce it using roller fossils to try and bring it down, mm. the tank didn't like it, maybe. Do you know what I mean? And it just took offense yeah. to it, sort of thing. Now it's gone back up. So then it's staying at 10. It seems perfect. Do you know what I mean? It's strange. Strange mm. the way tanks work. Do you know what I mean? It's it's weird, mate, the way they the way they evolve, do you know what I mean? And so that's what my tank sits at, Steve. So I'm just looking yeah. at my results. I write them down up here. So my oh, nitrate's sitting. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a shelf. I write them down on the ceiling. Yeah, I've got a little shelf here that's got a uh, kind of whiteboard thing on it. So <laughs> he, has, he, has, he, has that, he has that glove on that to write it on the ceiling. It's an eye test. He's having an eye <laughs> test. <laughs> my. Uh, my my nitrate is sitting at 10 just now, and my P, uh, sorry, my phosphate is sitting at 0. 0.9. <laughs> I'm sorry, 0. 0.09 my phosphate's at. 0. 0.09? Yeah, and yeah. my nitrate's at 10, so that's that's kind of where I'm at just now. Now, what I have noticed, what? now I don't know if it's because I've recently switched from the Salifert to the HANA checkers for my phosphate. <laughs> so when I was using the Salifert test kits, my phosphate was reading 0. 0.03, run about there. Now I've jumped to the HANAs, it's about 0.09, give or take. Now, Paul, when he was on last week, did mention that, that the HANA reads slightly higher than what the Salford ones did. So when I've tested mines, it has, it's done exactly the same thing. So I'm not entirely sure what one's the more accurate you know, one. So, so you know what I would go, you know what I would say with that, yeah, is I would say go for the middle, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. So if it's 0.03, I would say yours might be 0.06, 0.07. I'd, I'd yeah, yeah. probably say that's probably what it would be, give or take. Do you know what I mean? That's the way I always look at it. You know, if I test two tests, yeah, then yeah. I go on an av- then I go with an average of what it could be. Do you know what I mean? So it'll say, right, I go with an average of it. It's going to be that. Do you know what I mean? Or whatever it will be. Yeah. And nine times out of ten, it's usually in that ballpark. Remember, these are just hobbyist test kits, aren't they? They're not professional. Yeah, well, that's the thing, you know yeah. what I mean? So they're giving us a ballpark reading. They're giving us a ballpark reading. But I love my phosphate test stuff. And I love my Anna checker, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I use yeah. my Anna checker all the time, especially on my nano, because your nanos, my nanos like yourselves, you know you guys, because you you've 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 had them I and you've got them and stuff. So on nanos, alkalinity is needs to be perfect, do you know what I mean? It needs to be spot on on a nano tank. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? On a on a bigger tank like mine, it can fluctuate, it's not gonna make a big issue, you know, with it all. But um yeah. on a nano, it needs to be spot on. So well, Mark Lennon is sitting at 8.3 just now on mines. That's perfect, mate, isn't it? You know what I mean? That's yeah, I'm happy with that, to be honest. What do you that think to you, Hannah's then, uh, Ross? Are you, happy, are you happy with them? Yeah. Yeah, they're good. So I had a bit of a... Do you know something that I actually really struggled with was trying to figure out how to get the battery cover off to start with? I took the screw yeah, yeah. to figure out. I'm it's, thinking, you know, it was like it was stuck. And I, and I had to actually Google how it came off. When I Googled, I seen there was like a connector pin. Like a little connector pin, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then I thought, right, that's fine. It just comes straight off because I wasn't sure if it was on a hinge, if it was yeah. just a, a straight lift mm. off or what. So I'm glad that I actually didn't try and just force it. It is off a bit. It, 
it is a bit dodgy then, you know, you know, with that connector pin. Because you'll yeah. you know what you're gonna get you're gonna get somebody or they've probably done it in the past, they stick a knife in it because it's not and they're just yeah, gonna flip yeah. it off, right? It's gonna snap off. Do you know what I mean? It should yeah. really tell you, should it? You know, just beware, you know, on the box or something that there's a yeah. connector. So just well, prize it off slowly, you know what I mean? I couldn't see anything on how to actually get the battery no. compartment off, so I, I actually Googled it. So done that, and then the other thing that I kind of messed up with was opening the packets of the reagent. <laughs> so I just kind of yeah, yeah. I, snipped, I snipped the corner off of that and thought, that's fine, I can pour it in, and ended up with the oil of the desk. It was everywhere. I thought. <laughs> so I then see, followed see the, the line. line. <laughs> yeah, I followed the line, opened that. Squeeze that a bit and thought, right, that's the way it goes. So yeah, yeah um, it's, not, it's not getting the powder in off of Hannah from the Hannah packets. Yeah, yeah it was a learning one on that one, mate. So you know, yeah. know what? You know what it would be best is if like those instead of those stupid packets, you had like a vial. You know, like a, a vial with the oh, powder yeah. in it, and you could just get like one little tight, tiny take. You know, like the little the little scoops what you can get, and then scrape it off like that, and then you can tip it in. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know if you can see that, but the frogs actually just climbing up the grass. Oh yeah, grass the frog, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That is rough. Some people have asked what was in there, so that is one of the frogs that climbing awesome. up there just now. Wow. Isn't it? It's big that. How many? Yeah, how many frogs are in there, Ross? Two or something. There's two of them, mate. Yeah. What male, female? No, they're both females. So when I got them, they were they were obviously tiny. You couldn't tell what they were. So I got two. Yeah. Called them Jack and Victor after the still game characters, and then realised there were two females. So I've got two female frogs called Jack and Victor now, which is a bit awkward. But never mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that uh, the phosphate checker though, I really like that one, the Hannah one. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean it, the Salford test kits are really good. Don't get me wrong, I still have all the Salford test kits there that I use, but the Hannah checker is just that little bit more, you know, accurate where you get the digital readout. It's a bit easier to actually read it. So. Yeah, I quite like that. Coral, um, coral, coral coral here. Yeah, I was going to say that. That's exactly one that I was going to say. That coral at clear FX. I've never heard of it. Who, who no, made I was, that? I was going to actually ask her that because I don't yeah, know yeah, what yeah. that is. Who make so, it? Yeah, I don't know who make it. If you could let us know what that is and kind of who makes it. Um, a couple I mean, of questions. Is it is it is it, a is it a liquid? Is it a part? Is it a is it a liquid? Is it um? You know, is it powder? Is it, you know, what is it? Granules? Do you know what I mean? Oh, I, no. I, I, don't, I don't know what that is. Never heard of it, actually. Clear effects. Mm. No? Chemipure. So, Chemipure is always good. Some uh, JB Aquatics was asking about the frogs. So they're Australian green tree frogs, I believe. That's what they are. They're not dark frogs. Tree frogs. Um, Scott Gunnison's put Muggsy, are you drinking from a wine glass? <laughs> <laughs> and, did I, and did I just have my pinky up? Well, I don't think I did, mate. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 if it did, you probably know about it, mate. But no, uh, oh. I'm, drinking, I'm drinking from a Stella Artois glass that um, I don't drink Stella, but I walked out of the pub with it by accident once. And yeah, <laughs> I just, uh, this is the reason why I've got it. So. Scott Morrison's also said that he wants a detailed video of your tank on WhatsApp. Now, if you go on Moggs's YouTube channel, you'll see all the detailed videos of his tank. So check out Moggs's YouTube channel and his Instagram. See, Moggs does, I know you're on here, Steve, but he actually does really good Instagram lives where he shows all in the tank and so on. So if you keep yeah. an eye on his Instagram, you'll get a notification to say that he's, he's went live. And that is actually a, a really good video. I really enjoy your lives on Instagram, mate. So check out them. I appreciate it. And I've only got I've only got twenty five more, and I'm gonna be and I'm gonna hit the magical one thousand. So if you're not subscribed, Ooh. get over there and uh, yeah, subscribe to me. I really appreciate it. Definitely, it's uh, it's great. So Coral Reef Queens has got back and said, Clear FX Pro, drop it in sump and don't worry for a few months. It reduced my phosphate great, and my water's crystal clear. Ah, who, so who makes that Clear FX Pro? I don't know. Let me see. Let me see if I can bring this up. I don't clear, clear effect. Clear. Is it like a vibrant type thing? Pro. You can get clear, 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 yeah. Clear, clear blue it is that make it. That's clear a pregnancy blue. test. <laughs> well, oh sorry, not clear blue. Sorry, blue light. <laughs> clear yeah. effects, bro, isn't it? That blue life clear. Oh, God. Blue. There you are. There. There we go. 
<laughs> Blue Life Queen oh, FX it, yeah. Pro. How much is that, Thing Morgan? Thingy, um, Charter House Aquatics have it, and it's thirteen ninety nine, and they have it in stock as well. So, mm. <clears throat> yeah, not bad. Thirteen ninety nine. That's not bad. Sorry, right, actually, yeah. And it's got uh, uh, it's got four point nine stars out of thirty two reviews. So not many reviews, but four point nine. That's you can't get much better than that out of five. So, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. That's a new one for me to be honest. I haven't actually tried that one, so. No, you know what I might, I might. Uh, I mean, you see, I don't really, I don't know, I don't really use much uh, phosphate remover other than like if I see it, you know, like rising up, like mega high, you know, like like we had it, yeah. we, you you had it, didn't you, Jay? And it went, yours went up to like point two three, and uh, mine went, yeah, up mine went to point two three. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? It was like, well, then I started to use it, but like you know, the phos. But other than that, I don't really tend to, don't really tend to put it in the tank. You know what I mean? I just. I just tend to just mod, keep monitoring it, and then I add it as and when I need to. Do you know what I mean? So it's. Uh, but if that, that's, it, I mean, that's that the one I better. always phosphate is the one I struggled with from day one. It's the yeah. one that I just can't get stable. Stable, no, no, no. It's like dipping low and it's going high, and it's. I find yeah. that just on my. I don't know if it's just my tank, but it's no. the hardest for me. I think a lot of people like that. Mate. Yeah. The hardest. I, I think feeding's what really what changes minds anyway i've noticed you know when i start to feed lighter the phosphate comes down a bit and when you start to feed slightly more the phosphate goes up and that's what i've noticed anyway i don't know if yours is the same jay but i've noticed that the feeding on mines definitely seems to be relating yeah. to the phosphate in mines anyway i need to look at that closely i think see what the patterns are there yeah there's so coral can say the highly rated to be honest phosphate went from using too much reef it was 0.29 highest use clear effects and brought it down great so yeah I need yeah. to check this out. I you know need what? to check this out. And you know what? Queens yeah. Exactly. You know, look, look at, looking at her tank. Obviously, it's it's absolutely done its done its trick, hasn't it? Because the tank's oh, absolutely yeah. running. So, you know what I mean. At the end of the day, you definitely. I know heard. I said that earlier, but their her tank is probably one of the favourite tanks yeah. out there just now on Instagram. It's, it's absolutely tank. stunning. Yeah. If you haven't had a look already, go and check out Coral Reef Queens Instagram page because the tank is absolutely stunning. Yeah, definitely. Um, um, what was it say? Does anybody know? Does anybody know when I'm when I can get these nitrate Hannah high eight um, <laughs> yeah. high range tests or where I can get them from? Because I can have to bring it up. We nearly got through a whole live stream without a nitrate checker. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want the high end one, Jake. The high end one, mate. You know what oh. I mean? So I believe it's going to be August September time that Kraken Corals might be getting them in. Um, oh, I need to double check it. the message, but it's. I think they're out in America just now, Steve. I believe. No, no, but, yeah, I've seen them in America. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't. They're not over here, definitely. Um, I think it's going to be another couple of months yet until they're here. But somebody in the chat might know differently from that. I don't know. Yeah, um, but I'm yeah, I don't definitely think want one here. of them. There's no doubt I'm getting one of them. That's for sure. You know what I mean? It, uh, eBay, eBay. No, I, I haven't seen any of them. People got them in but, the UK. Some people in the UK have gone. Up there, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, they oh might have bought gosh. a medical. Gee, I thought oh. you might have actually had a trip over at the Hannah factory to get one since you're such a loyal customer of theirs. <laughs> 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 they certainly won't get me to do the video for it, would they? Well, <laughs> they might, but they would probably need a mega memory card to get the video in. That would be all it would be. <laughs> <laughs> I've just seen this Coral Reef Queen's Instagram. I'm following it back now. Oh, it's awesome. Oh, gee, it's and incredible. And they're from York, so that's it. I know. Local girls to you, mate. Local girls. Yorkshire girls. Can't beat them. Yorkshire girls, perfect. There you go. There's, there's a typical Yorkshire comment, Jay. Can buy out on eBay. Yes. Oh, <laughs> could even buy even a new message. <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh, here's Neil. Neil's here he is. House. Here's the man himself. <laughs> one minute going? to go. Neil, one we mentioned it earlier, mate. We hope everything's going well with the tank, and we hope that you're still going to stick with me. You need to stick with us. You can't let yes, this uh, go. So Absolutely. we were saying that earlier, that everybody has kind of low periods. So stick yeah. at it, mate. You need to keep going with that, because your tank's amazing, and everybody watches your videos. So keep at it, mate, please. And have an amazing wedding. I mean, you can't yeah. wait for that. Uh, that must be soon, is it not? Is it next week or something? It's it's really soon. Yeah, yeah it's cool. Cool. Yeah, coming up in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Have an amazing wedding. Absolutely. 
Yeah, so no, definitely. I echo, echo uh, what Ross has said. Definitely stick at it, Neil. We all have, like like Ross has said, ups and downs in the hobby. We all, you know, sometimes think, you know, this I've had enough and let's let's finish and stuff. But you know what? You'll come through it and you'll go, I should never have even had them thoughts. I've done it hundreds of times. Like, I'm selling, <laughs> getting rid, that's it. You know what I mean? And, and then I think to myself, I'm glad I did it because, you know, like you said, Jay, before, it's like a work of art, isn't it? You know, on your yeah. wall. It's like, you know what I mean? And it's great to see, you know. You know, yeah. you know what I mean. Whether it's good or bad, it's still great to see. You. And then you, you know, you, 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 and then when it when it starts to get better, you go, "Wow, I should never have even thought of that." You know what I mean? So it'll definitely come better for you, mate. Um, there we go. It's, it's, it's yeah. official from the horse's mouth. Seventeenth, he gets married, yeah. and he's here to stay, so he's not going anywhere. That's fine. Nice one. Nice one. Uh, just quickly before we go, because I know that Julie's. Uh, Keep an eye on time, says that's her time up. <laughs> she's brilliant. But, she's the landlady. She's called Julie the landlady. I reckon she, she must have one of those egg timers or something that she just sits in the <laughs> sack. That's time, boys. Out you go. That's, that's it, done. That's it. Thanks, Julie. No, um, a quick one here for you, Jay. So, JB Aquatics said Hannah's a UK company and they're wow. in Leighton Buzzard, wherever the hell that yeah, is. I'm assuming yeah. that's Englandshire somewhere. I don't know where that is. Englandshire. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. That's good. And obviously, Michael, Michael, Michael Butler's book, Night All and Mum. <laughs> so, I think um, I think Julia should rename herself to Reef Mum. That Julie, could be her new name. Yeah. yeah. Blackpool, the, Julie and the mother shutting down the phone. <laughs> that is right. Hey, you know what? It's fantastic. This. Come on, kids, up to oh. bed now. Come on, yeah. up to bed. <laughs> we need one of these little bells, like you say, Steve, for the last orders, and that's it. So, drink up. Yeah. Folks. Yeah. Drink yeah, up. Best drink up. Yeah. Right. Lovely. So, I've yeah, had a lovely evening, gents. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, me too. That's a fun for tonight. So that's been two hours flew in again, actually. Um, yeah, brilliant. I really appreciate everybody in the comments. It's been here and. Thanks for taking part again. It's you guys that make this, so really Absolutely. do appreciate that. Um, yeah. Thank you very much for joining in. And next week, I believe it's myself and you, Jay. Steve, you're working, aren't you? I am, mate. Yeah, I'm working, yeah, for the next couple of weeks. So, yeah. Uh, yeah so, to I'm going to see if I can take the laptop and, uh, you know, stream on. I might even stream on from work, so oh. be tuned, stay in tune, mate. We'll see whether we can do that, you know what I mean? Because yeah. they have a good, they have a good Wi-Fi connection there, so fingers crossed I can get in. The time it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah so cause next I, I used to have my break around nine, so it'd be perfect. Yeah. He next starts at seven as a break at nine. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to do so, too much, mate. <laughs> you to get into it. Yeah, so next week, um, Steve's not here, obviously, and Paul's not here. So it's myself and Jay, and we've got Colette joining us next week as a guest host. Oh, yes. So it'll be myself, Jay, and Colette next week. So if you guys tune in, it's going to be on my channel again, just because, obviously, Paul's not here. Um, So we'll have it on here again, and like I said, it'll be the three of us. So we'll see what happens next week. But, yeah, we're going to miss you, Steve, and obviously we'll miss Paul as well. So. Hopefully yeah, Paul's having a good holiday and hope you have a good week at work next week, Steve. I appreciate <laughs> it. Cheers, guys. Thanks, right, folks. Take yeah. care and uh, good night to everybody. Thanks very much, guys. Have a great weekend. Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Cheers, folks. Take care.